Welcome to Persona 5 LP! It looks like Dark Souls, but that's... Don't worry about that! It's fine. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole lot more Dark Souls. A whole lot more Dark Souls. Well, twice as much, so... You know. Alright. Hey, Wooly, I wanted you to come back to Fire Link for a very special reason. What's that? And the reason is Welsh. Welsh. Oh my god, you're so fucking strong. Stab them with your silver thrusting implement. I- I- my- I wanted desperately to not say penis. But? But, I made it like a weird awkward sentence instead. So that it's implied that it's a penis. Yeah. You don't even have to say the word. Don't even have to say the word. It's implied. Eh. Silver thrusting penis. <gasps> Why?! <laughs> <laughs> I got too excited. I got too excited. That was a really, uh, did you notice how far you were standing over the That event? was the maximum. That was the as, the as it usually is with me. Yeah. I've had way too many of those. You have that maximum overdrift, sir. What a nice man. I like him. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Gollum. Or, if I want to be Ornstein. <laughs> so he's going to sell you... All your unique shit. Uh, and he's got the moonlight stuff over here. Ooh, wow, that's fancy looking. It sure is. Damn, yo, this looks baller. Uh, the image of the sun manifests Gwendolyn's deep adoration of the sun. You mood kid. I love you, Dad. So, uh... Dad, you're the coolest. So, boss clothes just end up on him. Yeah, he just, he just finds him. So he's fucking strong, this guy, in the th in the in the sense that if we have to assume, he just goes up and cleans up after you. Yeah. And just takes it. He's like, well, I found uh, Ornstein's stuff, right? Huh. Uh, uh, man, dressing up like Ornstein sure would be fun. But what about the golem? But what about the golem? Uh, and I'm rocking, um... You're rocking? The... You're 68. Oh, wow, yeah. So, okay. everything is better. Everything is better. Everything. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to do some some crazy uh, Fashion Souls mix-ups here. Oh, no. Set crossing. Is that what you hate? I hate everyone hates it. You hate it? <laughs> everyone hates it. Everyone hate hates it. it. So, actually, no. Some people like it. Don't let anyone... The true end game <laughs> is glamour. Yeah. When I'm sitting on that throne of want, I better look fucking good. Look styling. Is that gonna upset people? <laughs> I don't know. You see that fucking statue of Ronaldo they made? No. That fucking horrific nightmare? Is it bad? Oh, dude. Dude, it's it's the worst. I have not seen it. it it's it's a Dark Souls boss. I wish you I get I suppose. Oh no. The god of of football. It's it's oh my god. Show me. You, Show you, Kiko. You man. need to see it. It's important. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's so bad. And he's right next to it laughing. Thank you. Like, that oh, was no. a fine trip. I have Someone worked really hard on this. Through. Dragon Slayer mode. Activate. That's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. All right. We're gonna be Ernstein for a little bit. For just a little bit. And uh, by a little bit. <laughs> forever? Forever. Unless, unless something. No, you hate the mix and match. Fuck it. Oh, uh, no. If you find a cool mix and match, by all means. Yeah. But you do your mixing and matching when we're done. But if you're trying to go down to the basin, yeah. then this is the way indeed. And I'm coming in from the front side. Yeah. Not, not the back. There were multiple ways. There are. Didn't I round out into here? while connecting. Wait, does that not go down to the Valley of the Drinks? Maybe you're right. This is where I came up from the drinks. I went up the garbage Now I'm getting fucking lost. Yeah, I came up the garbage mountain, and then I hit this elevator, and then I, and then I fought a Black Knight for some Well, reason. shit. Oh, fuck! <laughs> God! Secret Billy. Damn it! Jesus. <laughs> Billy, you can't do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. That was pretty scary. <laughs> Billy just like <laughs> bamfed into existence and dropped a notebook next to us. God damn it! All right. Hey. <laughs> There's no. Where's the pen? Anyway, look, 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 look. Drinks. 
I almost shit my pants and there's no pen. The pen's over here. I oh, can't. the pen. Uh, <sighs> uh, Wooly, let me ask you. One more of those and you're going home, huh? What's, what's your startle level on person that you technically know is in the building? Right? Or in the, in the apartment, in the whatever. But you're not actually aware of. Coming up to inside your frame of vision. Any, unexpected. Anything showing up in, in danger, in blind spots that send my brain into danger mode uh, is high, and I usually... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll have to go around, I suppose. Like, go back up and then go down. That's what I was doing. Yeah, yes. you're right, you're yes. right. Okay. I'm the wrong one. Okay. I'm the wrong one. Okay. Pat, that's wrong. Okay, zero, zero. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm not in that. I'm not at the level of like punch the scarecrow, <laughs> punch the skeleton coming out of the garbage, right? But I'm definitely like attack mode. Oh shit! What's happening? You know? Yeah. So yeah. So Fists for up. for me, it constantly happens because I have noise canceling headphones. Oh, and yeah, don't uh, do that. and then the girlfriend comes up and like taps me on the shoulder. Don't do that. And I'm just like. But, so here's the problem. She's like, Pat, there's no way around this, because if she walks in front of me and waves, Hello? that's also entering my frame of vision unexpectedly, and I still freak out. So basically, every time I put my headphones on, I'm telling the world, you will scare me, period. I hear you. I'm getting ready to be spooked. Also, to those of you who noticed that I was a clicking a pen in the last couple Stop episodes. Stop clicking the pen. I will try and not do that anymore. I should carry around a pen. Why? So I can click it. You're allowed. Yeah. It's better than me carrying around box cutters all the time. Because, like, I cut myself a lot with these box cutters. Because I'm not, like, good with them. I don't practice good knife safety. Even though you know it. Even though I'm, like, explicitly aware of every aspect of knife safety, and worked with box cutters for years at, at work and cut open billions of boxes. Remember, you have like 20 Estes. I do. I just gotta get away from Even them. though all that stuff, the kill shot, I can't... Because, like, the way that I play with knives is the way that people play with guns and shoot their kids by accident. 100%. <laughs> right? I'm gonna stick to knives. And uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll switch over to pens. No, nope. never mind. Coast is clear. Maybe lighters. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Now, is it the flame aspect, or is it the, 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 the fucking noise that the, the, the nice metal Zippos make? You know, that click. Is this a pit? Yes. Yes. Unless well, yeah, I hope you don't mind, but you mind if I kick the game volume down just a little bit? Yeah, it's pretty loud. You turned it way up before. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, Bully, you are badass. I'm having a hard time seeing that line. Where is it? There it is. Okay. And now I'm encumbered, yeah. So close. Like, look, look I'm the last one left. Look how not he's hitting you. At all. Yeah, yeah. He's the last one left. I can do it. Don't miss. Oh, Jesus. No. Like, not even a little. Not even a little bit close. Well, shit. Did that ha Yeah, that counted. That counted. Yeah, you gotta. It counted. Congratulations, Wolves. Thank you. Ah. You know who's up there? Snake Eater. Big manly mining men. Mining? So you know that, uh, that, that clip you've seen of the mushroom man punching the absolute goddamn shit yeah. out of some motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from a YouTube video called Manly Mining Men. And it's a bunch of guys walking around in, in, in like shirtless with the pickaxe and doing PvP in this forest. Ah. All right, Wooly. Your your greatest nemesis is upon you. <laughs> a big wide open space that's dark 
and intentionally meant to confuse you. Yeah, if you can't haul lug, then you can, uh, you can at least... Cliff tug. <laughs> Cliff tugging. I'll take it, that's fine. Cliff tugging sounds like, I don't know... That sounds like one of those creepy Craigslist ads. Yeah. Where, you You know, guys wanna go cliff tugging, no homo stuff? No homo stuff. <laughs> Just me and a bud. It's cliff tugging. Maybe I can watch you, maybe you can watch me, but no, no, no expectations. Don't touch the thing. P.S. Bring condoms. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Cliff tugging. So I want to point out in the very, very, very first version of Dark Souls, if they were wearing the ring that you see on them right now, they could not be targeted. Wow, that's rough. It was very rough. Yeah, you told me about that. And that's why he's invis invisible. Like so that's that? actually Ferris. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. This time I'm sure. So he was human, ranked alongside Hawkeye Go. Okay, so that's... This is no one's fault. That's actually pronounced Goth. <laughs> but Vincent Van Gogh. I know. But the car the, there are somebody who will later say the phrase Goth. Okay, so like cough. Yeah. Fine. Dark Souls Robin Hood? Basically. For some re- uh-oh. Oh yeah, we're human. You sure are. Oh! Oh, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's being Oh, no! He's not being cool at all! What is he doing? <laughs> he's shooting stuff at you! Yeah, he is. And I don't know what it does, so... This is gonna be interesting. You're fighting five enemies right now. One of which is an invader. Yeah. I see that. That was solid, bro. Oh! Oh no! Damn. You still got this. Remember, invaders can't heal. I uh. Running away wouldn't have helped me there. He would have got me. Yeah. Oh well. Secrets of the waterfall. Nope, not this time. It's honestly one of the best places to look in nearly any game ever. Every video game. Every single one. Okay, how, how tough are you? If you look really carefully, you can see that there's something inside that bulb. Yeah, I like I like your boxing style, sir. I like your boxing style. Whoa! That's correct. Tis thou who rescued me. Whoa! Most gracious. Would this be of assistance to thee? No, it won't. But yes, it won't. I'll take you anyway. My heartfelt thanks. Yay! So thank you for visibly doing that for once. Well, she's magical and shit, man. I know, but the rest just stand around until. So, you uh, uh, you got uh, you got uh, Griggs, you got Logan, you got oh, Dust. Yeah, 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 I forgot about it. So. But uh, Logan won't even talk to you. Yeah, which is fair. I'm Logan's like, get your dumb shit out of I'm my stupid. fucking face. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, but I'm really fast. The guy in three is like a real cunt about it. Um, he won't even talk to you. The guy next to the library. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God, I, I got books, man. What are you wasting my fucking- the, the guy in- the guy in 2 is a similar dick, where he's just like... But- but he's- he's just not quite as much of a shit about it. Mm, yeah, that's- Whereas funny. Logan's like patronizing, he's like... Now, now. There are other ways you can <laughs> defeat the Dark Lord. Let me hand you this children's book. Come back when you- No, 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 not that chalk, chosen undead. <laughs> Don't eat that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm saying, which is worse, being patronizing or being like being a fucking rabid cunt? Yeah, I'm I, I would, I would prefer, like, I would prefer the cuntness. Is that like, if you were an NPC, that's what you'd be? Oh yeah, you'd be like, if I don't see the stats I'm looking for, I'm not even gonna like breathe in your general direction. Yeah, or fart at you. I, you, you are beneath my ass noise. You just fart on him a little bit, just a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> Woo! 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 Wolf, indeed. Oh, you're about to fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a doom noise. No, that's a Duke Nukem 3D pig cock noise. Oh, is that what it was? Yep. Okay. All right. We got real enemies, but I can't- You're never gonna make it anywhere in this industry if you can't do two at once. <laughs> nope, can't do two, can't do two. Honestly, Willie, I feel like your cowardice is not like... 
justified. You are so strong. Yeah, yeah, but they they hit hard. They hit hard. And what two two of those rolling attacks at the same time? I know I can't deal with it. Like I, I'm aware of my abilities. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, oh oh. Can you use this fucking? No, I can't. See, told you you could do it. Yeah. I just didn't want two rolls. Like two rolls is would have been would have been the the death of me. Hey, I recognize that as a loon. That sounds a bit like it. Yeah. The loon. For those of you who don't know, because you probably don't live in this country, is the bird that is on our money. Thus, the name the Looney. Super Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the counter hit, and uh, yeah, that happened. Counter hits are after as well. It is after. It is after. As well. Hey. Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. Cool. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? Mm. My advice true, traversing the dark. Hm. Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. This is the most confusing <laughs> question ever. It wasn't a question! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have this is this is the worst it ever is. Yeah, this is that, and so that, confusing. That feels deliberate. Have you come for the gra grave of Sir Artorius? It was the initial line of inquiry. So this will create the ring in the world. Yes. All right. Let's try that then. Let's 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 just get it and see then. I beseech you. Okay, to defend the forest. So when you hang out uh, anywhere with that ring on, you'll just get summoned to the forest whenever people come in. Right. That's what happened to that guy. He got automatically summoned to murder you. Because I walked in. Yeah. It's like a much larger version of the bell tower. Bell tower. Exactly. I like the bell tower a lot. It's probably yeah, my favorite part of the whole well, game. Well, because you get a fun little 2v2. Um, just sitting in your window. Also, I love their, the cat design and how it's a cat. It's a big bear cat. Yeah. And the only thing that's weird about it is their mouth, the mouth. goes way too far yeah. back. And that's it. Yeah. You're a ninja. You're literally a ninja. Yep. That's the ring, eh? He's wearing the ring. That's the ring? That's the ring. That's the ring. That's the ring. That's the ring. And that's the only way to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with that, oh, oh God, we looped around. Now with that, because we're not going to be fighting Sif until post DLC, you've completed the Darkroot Basin, with one item exception, really. Joining that covenant turned all these guys into friends. That's right. I made the zone finish. Yep. Yeah, put it on, motherfucker. Uh, let me check it. Let me let me vidi well his stats. It's good. 91. It's good. It's real good. 817.6. Let's see if you can even move. I can, you can! I can, move. I can... I can... You can! I You're can back hobble. to heavy. Yep. I'd highly recommend this if you can. It's very heavy. It is. Doesn't look very cool, though. Nah. Like, they can't crowd too far. Yeah. So ideally, you want you probably want to double hand it and get the biggest fucking L uh, R two on his asshole as yeah. you can. Yeah. Immediately. I can't move back at all. No, so no, I you have can't. to fight here or run around once you stab him a couple times to the to the bridge area or the little room. And all I gotta do is get the item. After all you gotta do is get the item. All right, buddy. Let's... Can you lock on to him at all? Nope, no lock on. Darn. He's, he's friendly. Yeah, get that item. Get that item, son. Yeah, you got it! Hey, fucking shit, fuck you, Shiva. You... Turning on us from the very start? Unique dialogue for not helping in the Covenant and going straight for it. <laughs> okay, now uh, you're an enemy again. Yep, sure are. And, uh... Alvina's gonna be pissed at you forever. For sure. That's pretty funny. Oh, it fucks your stamina up real bad! You notice that? Standing there, it took a long time for it your stamina did. to start back. Oh, no, you gotta get, you gotta get back to something lighter. You gotta get full, full, yeah. full, 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 boy. What happens if I talk to her now? Yeah, she's probably gonna be like, "Meow, I don't like you." Oh, it is thee. Thine kinsmen are betrayed by thee. Forever tormented, thou shalt be by our very howl. Unless I pay off the sin guy. Hellish villain. Unless. Thou hast used us most for thee, no mercy shall be shown. 
Alfie and I, I'm having trouble taking you seriously. Oh, and you peaced out. I'm having trouble taking you seriously when you're making those adorable kitty cat noises. <laughs> Whoa, I can't rejoin the covenant. She's gone. Well, until you cleanse your sin. And she comes back. And she probably comes back. Yeah, moral relativity. It got you a fancy ring that you can use right now to do backflips. All right. Actually, let's get back to, uh, uh, anywhere, really. Da -da 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 -da. What an interesting little side adventure. Yep. I'll show them boners. They're laughing at my boner, will they? <laughs> so you also get more invincibility frames on it. And as you look and look how long it lasts, I believe it. Yeah. Wow. And there's side versions when you're locked on to stuff where you're doing, like, no-handed cartwheels. I am the Dark King. Look. And fear. Alright. Yeah, that's goofy. You're doing it a little too hard. So where do you want to go next, man? <laughs> How many people had to die for that moment? <laughs> Multiple! <laughs> yeah. Fuck them! You're stuck, aren't you? Now, Walt, I should mention that at the point that you're at, you basically have the ability to access the DLC. Uh-huh. Uh, if you so choose. Now, the conditions for doing so... ...are extremely convoluted, if I remember correctly. Uh, I remember talking to you... This was before Best Friends. I remember talking to you when the DLC for this came out. We were hanging out somewhere. It was like, I cannot believe How a major company would release a piece of DLC. And for the first full day after the game's launch, the question was like, how do how you, you, how do you get it? to it? Yeah. yeah. You bought it, now find it. There is nothing in the game's description. Uh, there is nothing in the DLC's description that would lead you to to have any hint. That's, that's incredible. The balls. The balls. <laughs> so Do not walk through that. Though. I'm not going to walk through it. Okay, yeah. You can, though. You could. But, but you, so. you have to press the button to go through yes, it, right? Yes, that's correct. A cutscene will not trigger by yes, walking you're, up to you're it? Fine. You're fine. Okay. You can take a nice look at it. Which is stupid, because you can literally just walk around. Yeah, and why, what is the light source? The light source is magic. Shut up. Oh. Uh, you, you would like to go to. Let's do the DLC. All right, let's do the DLC. All right. Yeah. All right. So, problem one. Armored pigs. Armored pigs. They're going to be a thing. Actually, no, that's the last one. Oh. Uh-huh. All right. Oh. Oh, my oh. God. Crazy talk, activate. Oof. Have you noticed that my stand is gaining power? I noticed. Uh... It's a stand that activates when I say things. Yes. And it retroactively changes the world to oh. something called a Mandelian dimension. In order to... Oh, that's piercing! It's getting through the, 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 the scales. Uh, and what happens is, is that, say I say the sky is blue, the sky becomes red. And, um, that's what's happening. It's not that I don't know what I'm talking about. Definitely not. It just activates automatically. Automatically. It's the worst automatic stand ever. That's what that is. There you go. I've seen people wearing this before. Yeah, it's cool. That is cool. Uh, that's a nice That's fun... good for your Ganon cosplays. Yeah. And I got the big dread sticking out the back, so that's always fun. So the the way to the DLC is through through this, this zone, then. Yes, it's somewhat complex. Okay, so basically then, while I chose DLC, I'm actually... You have to do more to unlock. So I'm doing two in one right now. Basically. Whoa! <laughs> Seriously. Yes. Seriously. Yep. Okay. Damage is high. So. Got it. Got it. Got it. Life. Glass cannons everywhere. But that attack in particular <laughs> would definitely be a one-hit kill. Yeah, that's the big one. Woo! That's a good one. All right. Alertness. The that sent a rush of blood straight to the brain. It did. <laughs> Awesome. That was there. Awesome. What a fucking asshole! Vince, reverence, reverence, Rever reverence. Excuse me. Wow, jeez. And nostalgia. All right, well, they go unlock the DLC. Oh, that was. Yep. That was it. Yep. Maybe it's further in this way. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So this is the situation. I'm really curious. I am curious about this zone though, because this zone got pretty cool pretty quickly. This is a, is this is a, the, uh, this tease my, tease my, my balls a little. This bit. is the situation. Tickle my balls with that these, these people archives. got themselves into, in which they scoured the game world only to find this enemy was added, and that's it. Oh, that blue guy was new. That blue guy is new. Then that's it. And he doesn't even come after you. Nope. Unless you come after him. First. That's right. Congrats, you made it to the Duke's archives. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. DLC. DLC. All right. DLC. Where do you be? Where do you be, DLC? <laughs> Did you even see the arrow that hit you? Because I didn't. I didn't. It came through the guy. Yeah. It came through the guy. Let's just kindle this bad boy. Right now, so that when you come back... Don't even have to think about it. Don't even have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now for the final part of unlocking the DLC. You're in the right place. Can you guess as to what the right place would be to go? Yeah, if the answer is no, that's super fine. Like, <laughs> seriously? Yes. It's very super serious. No, you can't use it. Wouldn't that be so- No, cause see, Oot Dusk is- Okay, so this is weird for you because you never played the game before the DLC. Here, Dusk should absolutely be available to talk to as a merchant. She's not here. She's not here. So, you should go back to the part where you found her. What a weird place for a person to be. What a goddamn weird thing, man. That is goofy when you oh, yeah. spin it around. Looks like one of those... Uh, so you can now imagine how confusing this would have been to people who had already rescued Dusk and, never, and were just running around the game. Never looked back. Whoa! Gamora! You got got. Fucking... Bale witch monsters coming out to get me. Yeah, that's good stuff. You're now in the Sanctuary Garden? Welcome. Well, now I'm stuck. Are you? You're in the Sanctuary Garden. Which is a new location that you're not all that familiar with. You're speaking like the child actors in these games. I sure am. Oh, God! Enjoy your manticore. Immediate- I was like, how funny would it be if this was a boss fight right away? And then it turned out it was. So his tail's a weapon, but good luck getting it. So this guy ruined my day when I first got to him. Because I- I did the path where, um... I didn't have a- because when you beat the game in Dark Souls 1, you just go to New Game Plus. Right? So I started a new game to unlock the DLC. Uh -huh. Which meant that I went here as soon as humanly possible. Okay. Which ended up with me, like, blowing hours against him, because he's super tough. Very cool. Ooh, you're wearing lightning-resistant shit! How convenient. Oh! What a combo! <laughs> That's a combo! Nicely done. What an ugly piece of shit, though, on his butt, though. Oof! His butt is gross. That's the double sip. You'd love that double sip. Backflip. The, the people who have, uh, by the way, to answer your earlier question, the people who have way higher stamina bars than uh, health bars are people that are going for weapons in which you can stun lock people to death. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, that's good stuff. Like that. Lightning resistance. Ah, you got him! Good there. job! Fantastic job! I was wearing the right set. You sure were. I was saying, I'm walking through the fog gate, and I'm like, how funny would it be if... Err, life bar. <laughs> <laughs> Olisal Sanctuary. Okay. Well, yep. So that's a culture. Yes, you are in fact in Ulisil. Cool. This is a whole different country. Yes. Oh. There was just another bonfire. Yeah. Okay. And I believe this one gets added. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Sanctuary Garden. Sanctuary Garden. Uh, DS2 had a better 
list of warp. Oh, well, of course it did. Because they were like, how many people are going like, I don't know where that is. I am. This is a really cool garden. Yeah, every time I see those statues, I assume they're going to spit at me a little bit. <laughs> you know, I, like, I don't trust them, so I gotta... Okay. Well, look at this one. Oh, boy. And what Princess Dusk say? Hey, cool. Thine aura is precisely as she described. She talked about I me. I thank thee deeply for Very risking her highness. Knight Artorius came to stop this. But such a hero has nearly a murmur of dark. Mm -hmm. Without doubt, he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. The mark on his neck. A brand, you might say. Something like calls, that. Calls to his destiny. What are these? The entrance they list. are ways to piss people off in PvP. Not a simple augmentation. It turns the right weapon invisible. Hey, bye, Liz. So, out of one forest, straight into another. <laughs> Glad I didn't stick around for that! Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that look like the biggest hit ever? It looks so incredibly overwhelming. Yeah, alright. He got me. That's fair. That's the coolest move. That's fair. That's the coolest. I love uh, it. The eruption is even scarier. Oh, that's what I mean. Like the the just so he only does the he only does the eruption when it would hit you. Ah. If, it, if, if if you're safe, he, he doesn't do it. He just pulls it. Yeah. And it's like fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Every time that you were like, okay, do it, do it, and then I'll tag you. He didn't do it. Right. He's, he's a bitch. Bitch. So this place is just as big as it was last time. But it's a lot nicer. Alright, let's see what was further over here. Oh, you hear birds. And some sort of... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's that sound? It's very calming. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's like a low hum. In the so you remember when you looked out over this, you were able to see like that, like the, the pillars that used to hold up something, and that's it. That's yeah. all that was left. This is what it was used this to be. This is what it was. That's really cool. Whatever that low humming is, it's I don't know. It just feels nice. Yeah. To listen to. And here's a little ring. Well, there's animals here. <laughs> just, it's so hard. I thought I was out of range, but I wasn't. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So visibility in here. Oh, man. Not great. No. So as you can see, there isn't actually much in the middle. Mm -hmm. Other than the boys. And they're hard to... So hard-ass boys. Hard-ass boys to, 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 to Dark Souls. Yeah, you're just gonna lead me to some trouble. <laughs> so you can fuck off. Oh, what? What are you talking about? You can what are you fuck right about? off. What are you talking about? Like, if this game had moments where dudes ran from you and it wasn't an ambush, that might be, like, a nice, like, trainer that, you know, that, like, makes you think one thing and then it throws you your, subverts your expectations. Makes you think. But now... But every single enemy that's ever run Every single enemy that ran ever. has led to bad things. You're doing it, guys. You're doing it. You're raking for real, though. I That's a real raking. I love that their attacks, like... <laughs> Spitting dirt up at me. And look at you! Sitting back here, and then... Oh. oh. Mm. Maybe I should kindle. Maybe. That being said, you're getting... Getting low. Hot. Like, you're not, you're not like, having long, protracted battles. Yeah. You're getting, like, popped like a cherry. Or like a corn at a grocery store. The range has always thrown me off on... on every, like, every time I thought I was too far away, it turned out I wasn't. 
Ah, that's the direction, Wooly. What's happening, Professor Poopy Butthole? He's learning. And he fucking missed. Again. And he missed again and again. Okay. So these guys are ball huggers. Uh, hug their balls, sir. Providing that they're alone. Only hug their balls when they're alone. Now, if you hug their balls when they're in a group, you don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like I needed a cigar and a big fake mustache for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're basically speaking with the open mouth. And we got a bridge over here. Isn't this place nice? Isn't it one nice place? Nice little fancy picnic. Nice little fancy place. Have a little, pe little picnic. Hang out down here, have a picnic and eat flowers. Looks like an allergy nightmare, to be honest. Oh, dude. Did you get allergies? Uh, I used to, but most of them are gone now. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah. Video game. Are you fucking real right now? Oh. Okay. That was just a moment. Okay. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. That was just your introduction yep. to your new friend. Red Eyes Black Dragon! But I did notice one thing about it. What's that? The single interaction we had told me everything I needed to know. And what's that? I locked onto it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird place where the abyss has gotten so bad here. <gasps> that was fucked up. Come on, man. The abyss has gotten so bad here that it's physically leaking out of the ground. I'm about to get lost, but there's up there, and then there's over this way. You're not as lost as you think you are. I saw something. You know why? Because you saw something move. It's Doom rules, man! Yeah. The bodies hit the floor. Somebody pointed out to me uh, that if you gave uh, a Guts a gun, he's basically just Doom guy. Is that Thunder? There's big boy. And how many friends? Two? Two big boys. Two big boys. Uh, no. I can't tell. No, that's small, that. The one that I thought was the second big boy is a small boy. A small boy with a hammer. Small boy. Oh, wow. Oh, no, there are two big boys. There are two of each type of boy. Mm. Mm. Two big boys. Two big boys! Is this scenario going to be? I don't fucking know. I don't think they can. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What is this scenario? Is this just gonna be Goofy Dark Dark Souls? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Big Goofy Dark. Well, get good with your rolls, sir. No way. No way. Good with your rolls. Nothing there. Oh look, you almost found an item. <laughs> Nothing there. No, that's the well, that was a that was a death drop anyway. Yeah, you're right. Well, these guys are gonna chase me no matter what. Yeah, just go. Fuck yeah. Let's see how fast he can go. And how far he can... Oh, there. well, there you go. They've stopped. Great. She don't oh, no! She don't <laughs> Where did he come from? Where? I heard the footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, brother. That got me for sure. Mm -hmm. No, not now. No, not now. <laughs> And then I dropped down here. You did. And then there was two guys. Yes. Oh, this has to end some way. It does. I, I, there's no peace to run to. Just keep running until you find that answer. <laughs> I found the answer. You found it. Until these guys come dropping down. Yeah, until boo. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I've little to talk about, really. Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Mm -hmm. I like oh. you. <laughs> You're, uh, Everybody likes uh, Chester. Is that him? Yeah. Alright, you sell a bunch of blood moss. Uh, he sells some pretty useful generic stuff. Hey, nice. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. What y'all got going on over here? Well, that, my friend, is Ula Seal. Hey there, neighbor. And if you look down, like far, like past the edge of the, the cliff, you'll see that it goes and goes and goes. There was a whole fucking thing here mm -hmm. before it all became nothing. And if you look up, way, way, way up without the thing, you'll see just the tiniest 
tiniest tip of the wall of An Orlando. Yeah, because you fly <laughs> o- you fly over that. So at this point in time, the undead parish and most of the Lordran that you're familiar with doesn't exist yet. How many years? It's difficult to figure the time frame we're talking about. It's a big fucking long time frame, regardless. And I don't I don't know if that's because of Dusk the Princess. Or if it's because this is actually, like, Gwyn is actually alive. No. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> this is real. the fading of the first Age of Fire. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens. Established. Yo. So you finally got to meet him. You've seen his armor, you've seen his sword. Yo. You've seen his descendants! I heard about you. I heard you're pretty cool. Is it true? That's the thing that was grabbing me. <laughs> Go. <laughs> We're going. You're getting no advice on this one. <laughs> I love him. One hand looks cool. Well, his right, his left arm is wrecked. And also, it's an important detail. Artorius' sword in all of its interactions, right? is actually wielded in the left hand. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right! Which means he's- I just remembered that! He's fighting you with his off hand! This is his bad hand! <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Ooh! That's so fucking bad <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's correct. He's the coolest. That's ever. correct. God damn. He's the coolest. Okay. You're a big deal. You're a big deal. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, Are you eating? I sure do love a blueberry muffin. Get your breakfast. All right. Oh um, man. So let's try that again. He's going backwards. <laughs> I love this guy, he's the best. Ew! I forgot about that. Oh wow, he's doing his big thing really early. Okay. Oh, that's a delicious muffin. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, running into that was no good. So... You have a decent roll, yes? Yeah, I, I can, no, I, I can, I can see. I can see. Um... I've left the house without my wallet, occasionally. Yeah, that, that's happened. Before, that's a fucking but... nightmare. It's a pretty small one. It's not that big. The main, the main problem is the buff that he gets from it. Ooh! The buff that he gets from it allows him to do that. That's a power within killed you. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, uh, I was trying to say earlier, um, considering blocking his shit isn't gonna do a lot of good, you might as well just, it, like, instead of power within, just go two-handed for it. Oh, you're absolutely killing it on the low Except oh. for the triple! Yeah, he does the double and the triple. Well, okay, that's his power geyser. Yep. All right.
got him. Hey. <sighs> How you doing? All right. He kicked my ass. <laughs> you saw there was a nice pause there where like I was staying neutral on him. Yeah. Because I was like, I need that pop. I like, I need to pop uh, the the heal on humanity. I don't want to waste this shot. Because yeah. He's a two fuck up and you're done guy. And uh, I noticed what was happening. I finally realized when you took a shot late on that one, where that buff that he's got, it's a stacking damage buff. Is it that is that what it is? Yeah, that's why you were getting punked at the end over and over. Because he Because would... the the threshold for a one hit kill gets smaller and smaller that's as what... the fight goes on. I saw the damage going up, but I... you got you got in in the in the fucking run that we stopped like, you know, even trying to commentate on. He hit you with a spin attack that did 90%. Yeah. Uh I I that did the jump back move, which he does very rarely, I noticed. But uh I was under the impression that like he was just buffing his damage like, I don't know, maybe 1.5, something like that, maybe 1.25, I don't know, but uh, I didn't realize, I guess, that it was stacking as opposed to um, uh, uh, increasing. The well, congratulations, Wooly. Yeah, that's a fucking good boss, man. I like it. You feel it. It's real. You have to learn how to roll to his uh, left arm, right? Yeah. So that's interesting. And his arm's all busted up. And the other rare move he does is, is flinging shit at you. So poop. I, I threw a poop at you. He's all fucking full of purple goo. Uh, soul of guts. The soul of Lord Gwyn's knight guts, who was consumed by the abyss. Legend. The legend that Artorius repelled the abyss only ha only told half the story. It seems that he was defeated and his honor preserved by some unsung hero, who is the true victor over the abyss. Oh, really? So by beating him, I preserve his honor. So here's here's the thing. So in all the story that's in game prior to the DLC, man, Artorius kicked the Abyss's ass super hard. He's the best. He has the Covenant of the Abyss. He can Abyss walk. He's the fucking shit. He kicked the Abyss's ass. And then you get here, and what's he like? He's melting. He's melting, and his arm is broken, and he's using the wrong arm, and he's a beast. Yeah. So he's screaming at you. He clearly lost the fight with the Abyss. Mm -hmm. But like, didn't die. No, well, I mean, because that didn't. Seem you did it. Oh boy! Woo! Woo! Good fight, man. Good big fights. Look at all the residue you left behind. It's gooey. This is a sensible Kindle. Oh yeah. Maybe not all the way, but definitely a couple. Because this is a good. It is a good spot. This is a good spot, right? Here. Well, it's on my body anyway, so I got nowhere else. Is to this put the it. last bonfire? I think this might be the last bonfire in the DLC. I got nowhere else to put it. That's I got nowhere else to go. I'll tell you where you can put it. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. That's post-boss montage giggles. <laughs> you know why Wales gets no respect? Because nobody knows that it exists. Because it's because it's called Wales. I I have Welsh in me, and I barely know where the fucking place is. You know, if they threw an H on there, everyone would love them that much more. Walsh? No, Wales. W H A L E S. How, imagine how cool that would be. You said if you throw an R on there. I said an H. You misheard. You know, if they threw an H on there for some oh. reason. Yeah. I'm having a moment. Wales. <laughs> W-A-L-E-S. Look it up. I'm having a moment where my brain is just... You thought it was the same as the animal? No, I didn't. But I thought it was... For some reason, when you said add an H, I'm like, isn't it W-A-H-L-E-S? Or... D uh, it is not. I, I, I don't know. It is not. Help. Uh, 2020-2020. Wow. All right. You're not making that on a whim. No. If you buy that, you better wear it. Anything new in this lore? Yes, the yes. death of the helm's owner can be surmised from the corrosive dark of the abyss and the musty azure blue tassel, once a symbol of pride and glory. So, he lost to the abyss. Hard. And then the incarnation of the abyss, or the dark lord, quote yeah. unquote, beat him. Mm -hmm. So he lost to the abyss again. Oh, snap. Well, that is if you're going for the Dark Lord ending. I guess. Um, just bone out. I was about to bone out. Yeah. Tattered cloth really adds a lot to a, to a detail, mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm not going to pretend it doesn't. But 
Something about that helmet can't are be you, denied. Are you saying that I would look cooler if my clothes were in rags? No, because that would expose your fleshy bits. And no one Listen, no one needs my that. fleshy bits are awesome. You... What, you don't want some of this? No. The the hand movements I'm doing that unfortunately people can't see at home. I think the planet Earth has collectively are, decided are that really... they, don't, they don't want none. Oh, hun. Who's still a nice place? I hate the name, but it's a nice place. I hate the name. It's so weird. Like, hey, look, this place in Dark Souls. What a nice place. Yeah. Well, it's not nice anymore. But I, mean. I don't. I'd never want to come from an anywhere with two O's simultaneously in it. Oh really? Yeah. O and O are such a such ugly letters to put back to back. Oh, you got you got a problem with O? Two O's together? Damn, it's locked. How ugly is that? Damn, boy. If anyone ever had a name, you're throwing two, down. If anyone ever had a name with two O's in it back to back, that'd yeah, be the worst that'd thing ever. That'd be disgusting. I'd vomit all over. I'd vomit all over. <laughs> That's the joke. The joke is your name is is Dooley. Oh, also, hey, what the fuck? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Are you human? I forgive you. I am here to pay respects to a dear friend. Please, allow me a moment alone. The one whose blood is on the tip of my spear? Sh shut up! Allow me Does a she alone. not talk to you if you're human? Is that what it is? I was about that to That might actually be it! That's- is, it, is my faith just- I was gonna say, is my faith too low, or- No? Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'll- I'll tell you next time you're at a bonfire. Man, yeah. that is a cool Dude, little look, lion man. I, I mean, look at the- look at the necklace, like, part of it, too. You can't pretend. There's so many details that I forget. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> why, why is it that when I went on Twitter and I saw you responding to some, like, Spotlight on Grenada. Yeah, it was a really cool video. And uh, you're like, excuse me, while I dump ass <laughs> on this. It was a really good, good feeling moment. I showed it to my mom and she freaked out. She's like, Oh my god, it's amazing! What a nice video! All, uh, notable Grenadians also include <laughs> guy with machete in my room who says, "I'm coming back." <laughs> he's still he he he's what was it? He's uh. How old were you that one? Oh man, I don't know. Like young, like ten. Really right? young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a word for that experience. You know what that word is? Traumatizing. Formative. Formative. <laughs> That's another one. It's a pivotal moment in your youth mm -hmm. that helps define who you're going to be as an adult. At least a little bit. Like when my mom told me that the good guys don't always win during an episode of The Power Rangers. Oh. But was it a two-parter? Yeah, it was the Green Ranger. Yeah, yes. that's- yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, you know, you, the Green Ranger came out and fucking kicked their ass so hard. Wasn't even close, right? It was really devastating. And I'm like, Mom, what happens if the Power Rangers don't win? They can't- they have to win! And she goes, sometimes the good guys lose. Yeah. And I went- and I'm like, seven. And I'm like, I can't handle that knowledge. <laughs> that's too much. In fact, most of the time they lose. Oh. Do you ever think about, like, that guy's probably, like, old now? Probably had some kids, little family. Do you think he tells them the story grass. how he scared the shit out of some kid with a machete? Yeah, and then the whole time the kid was waiting for him to come back. So that's why that. How long did you think that was he was gonna come back for? Oh uh, well, enough to the point where we called the police and oh Jesus! <laughs> Man, that's not normal. Oh. That's not how that enemy is supposed to move. That is not how that enemy is supposed to move. I don't believe you. <laughs> Part two. Ah, <laughs> uh, DLC. You're so cinematic. I love you, DLC. You're so clearly like... You're, you're doing much more than the normal game so that it feels like a special experience because the player has to feel that it was worth it. Dude, I love that. I love when we you have to pay more attention to I uh, uh, direction and detail. I love when you go into a DLC and you can tell that because it's extra, yeah. that the, the people behind it just got, they just got like a little bit of more room to stretch, right? They got just a little bit more room to just do something a little odd. Reminds me of uh, New Vegas. They have four DLCs for that. And this is a wide open area. And all four of those DLCs, and that's the reason why. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I could see that. Yeah. Yep. Hey, baby. 
Hey, I'm, uh, I got rid of all that nasty clawing, gnawing humanity. Woo! Woo! Maybe this time. Are you human? I forgive you. So I'm go go back to the bonfire to and take out Artorius' soul. Oh. Do you want a big ass great sword? Not really. No, okay, great. Then grab Artorius' soul. Okay. Would you be willing to part with it? I don't know. I want to use it to gain a thousand souls. 1600, uh, 16,000. I want to use it to make a boss weapon. Nah. You can make you can make the abyss great sword with it. You make his big sword. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, there's you can make like three Thank versions you. of that sword, but you I mean they're all kind. great swords. Please take this. I no longer need it. But instead, you got the dark silver and gold tracers. You're important. That's one of Gwyn's four knights. You're a big deal. Yep. Mm-hmm. Giving them up? Aren't you? Aren't you like? Oh wait. What am I doing? You sure you don't want to fucking hold on to these? Nah, man, she's good. Her and Artorius were like a thing. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure about that one, actually. That feels like you're making it up. <laughs> okay, hold up. <laughs> Let's take a second here to see what we're working with. That's really stylish. And that's off of one button press, by the way. Yeah, it is. So that's a pretty standard. Yep. What's your R2? Yeah. I want you to do that sideways so we get the, the look of what that stab actually is. It's like a real, like, ugh. Yeah, impale. And then... <laughs> wow, these are awesome. They don't target combo into each other. No, because that was a feature that pretty much gained more and more popularity the farther the series went. Yeah. And I really, I, I actually adore the Dark Souls 3 way of doing it. Which is just, no, the weapon is a two-weapon thing. Yeah. Like, that's just how it works. That's the scimitar move set from DS2, I think. Uh-huh, that's about the same. No, it's not, it's got a follow-up. <laughs> wow, versatility, what a cool move set. <laughs> is this good in PvP? Cause it's I don't so fucking know. It's got so much going hey, on. Hey, look at that! It keeps a parry! It keeps a parry. And you get a little stabby, just a little... Eh, eh. Out of it, it's a little attack too. Yeah. Man, wow. Okay, that's a... Yeah, if I ever... I'd really, I'd really, really consider rocking this uh, if, if for funsies. Like, that's a... F the two of those together are fucking cool, and they give you a parry just for that exact purpose. That's that's nice. I like her shit. Because, yes, th those weapons feel like apologies to dex users that for not having, like... Like yeah. a bunch of uh, cool scimitar weapons. No, no, that that's the that is the, the coolest I've seen of that set type uh, so far. I absolutely think those are radical dex weapons because the versatility is what you would expect to, to make up for. Well, the lack well, of you strength. can use them in all sorts of ways. You can have the dark. You can have anything on your right hand and the dark silver on your left, so that you have a dedicated parry and you have that nice stab. You could have the gold one yeah. on your right. You could have the gold. You know, you like you can mix and match with anything. I wish there was a quick way to swap left to right and right to left. Yeah, know? unfortunately, that'd be a really cool thing to do in the middle of battle. Combined. I want. Let's take a second to give appreciation for a weird little Japanism that Wooly and I and Matt adore, and that's what's better than A plus. S. S. <laughs> I don't know why I think that is so cool. And the fact that S, it, what's better than S? Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Alternatively, uh, SS. And what's better than that? SSS. I love it. I love it. And that is a real drop. Run, Wolves! Run! Get the item! It was a soul. Can you look down towards the corridor? Yeah, there he is. I believe there's actually items over on the other side there, but uh, for the yeah, there's one. There's one way over there. I oh, know. Yeah, fuck that one. But uh, for the time being, yeah, fuck that. Ooh, ooh, okay. gross. What can I learn to be like cool guys that can toss you around like weapons? Never. You, you fucking Nathan Copeland, one of these dudes. That <laughs> And it was, it was something. Super never. Okay. This is an unfortunate side effect of the abyss. And now that I'm looking at it, boy, they look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
They look like they're covered in eyes and have elongated beast limbs. That they do. That guy looks nasty. Oh, you had advanced growth. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I guess I'm going down this path. Right? I guess you're going down this path. You did it. I can't see what's happening. I guess I'm not supposed now, to. Now, here's a puzzle. You're standing on a puzzle. Yeah. Uh... Can you discover the solution? It's safe here, so let's take a look at what we can do. Seems to be safe, at least. Yeah. Nope, it's not safe. Oh, fuck it! I heard footsteps. Fuck it's it all. Safe. Why would it be safe? Okay. There are multiple solutions. Uh, let's try this one. Let's try the one where I, uh, put the skull lantern on. And I make light. Congrats! So the- so any spell, item, whatever that you would have that would create light mm -hmm. would do that. Okay. Pendant engraved with the crest of guts. One of the ancient treasures of Vanerlando preserved- uh, sorry, presented to Artorias for facing the abyss. Effectively deflects the dark of the abyss, especially in its magic forms. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, there it is. Why don't you use it? Use it. <laughs> that looks cool. Mm hmm So next time you see a guy with dark magic, why don't you test that out? Uh. Oh. Hold on a second. Now, besides all the stupid fuck-ups I made there, uh, because that was really embarrassing, um... I like that moment. Brain farts. The, cho the chosen undead may have had a little too many sips of the Estes. Brain farts. Congratulations, this is my new thing now? Am I doing that? Am I do am I creating catchphrases unknowingly again? No, but you did it has been a thing for a lot of this LP. Oh, really? Yeah. You did it. You did it. You did it. And you did it. Also... You didn't notice? You didn't notice that you kept saying... You... Did it. No. <laughs> we did... We Man, and I finished the Evil Within LP. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wow! <laughs> wow. There she is. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me while I make some more fire. Yeah, that's true. Before I really caught on with the excuse me thing. I'm an eccentric man. You know what I mean? Rely on. Those. It's an it's an LPing uh, shenanigan. Crutch. Sometimes you can quote dank memes to save time. Sometimes you can try and invent your own dank meme. Yeah, let's go back that way, then. Some, you know... Give and take. <laughs> hey, you, it's not up to you to determine whether it's dank or not. Listen, I'll dankify whatever I want. I'm completely incapable of original thoughts. I just steal things creatively. That's a real artist. That's what a real artist does. Prior to its descriptor for Kush, I had no idea. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I never heard it, but the moment I heard it, I knew exactly what it meant. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing I never got about its descriptor for, for, for weed and all that shit was why would you want your weed to be, like, creepy and moist? Is that good? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's I did, Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that means it's, it's got more THC. Oh, when it's, like, like it's kind of wet it's or damp? More, it's more potent. Ah, oh, I see. It's, it's more moss-like. Nah. It won't, won't- it won't reflect them back at them, right? But... Oh yeah, that's a tricky room. Oh yeah. Alright. Alright, I have a better and, idea. And two of the chests are already open! <laughs> I have a better idea. There you go. Delicious. Alright. You did it. Uh, was you that room? You did it. Yeah. That's how you, you did it. That's how you beat it. That's how I beat it. I make it, I ruin it for myself. It's like when you're grossed out by something, the only thing you can do to get around it is to have sex on pic on top of a picture of it. Or why not on top of the thing itself? Well, I mean, that's not viable in some cases. Especially if the thing you're grossed out by isn't real. I see. Right. I don't know, I think you're just not trying hard enough. I, you know what? You might be right. You 
did. And then that's another place over there. It sure is. Ah, whew, okay. Oh yeah, I know. All right. I know. All right. I'm 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 working on that mental map right now. The mental map that I have, which is like 35, 40 years old, but of this you location. Already have. Yeah. Oh, it's been a while, man. Okay. You did a great job. Well, what's that? What are, you, what are you excited about? What's going on? What's going on? Ah! I'm sorry. Yeah! Dude, I never got one of these in any LP. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you didn't! I always see them in PvP, but I never actually got well, one. Well, because in, in all the other games, they're weird bonus items, but this is where they're from. Yeah. Like, someone was selling them, I believe. Yeah. Nice Great job. No. Great job. I want the main one. The good one. Very good. <laughs> the voice is the best. It's pretty good. Can you make the jump? It's not a jump. Ah, I got you. I fooled you again. Danger, danger, danger. Haha. -ha. I was just pretending to be stupid. I hate that. I hate when people do that. Yeah, it's great. I hate when people pretend to be stupid. I purpose. love it. I love it. It's it's a it's a perfect cover, man. Yeah. Uh, well, I would never do that. I would never do that. Is that the is that the roof I was already on? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, it's the perfect cover. It's like that kid who gets scared <laughs> by his friends that one time. Yeah. And like they all run like someone runs up to him and they're like, "Boo!" and he goes, "I'm gonna swing from the chandeliers." <laughs> And you're like, ah, you saved it, you fucking idiot. Ah, uh, you won. He, he totally won. It was amazing. It's like when you smear chocolate all over your couch, and you recover by turning it into a hilarious story about how you shit your pants. There you go. Or it happened again. Yeah, you mentioned. I know, but it's it, it haunts me, man. It haunts me for real. <laughs> One day, it's not going to be chocolate. <laughs> These are all test runs. These are all trials. See how I handle the pressure. Yep. You're being prepared. Get the fuck out of here, Mimic-kun. Fucking Mimic Boss Arena. Like, treasure chest in the middle of a circle. Yeah! Woo! That's the one you wanted. Woo! Very good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna keep that one on. Now's a great time to test out your new toy. Oh, okay. Fuck it. Great toy. That's a good toy. Good toy. Good toy. Can't go over that railing. Well, that sucks. Oh, yeah, he uses all the classics. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Gank squad, gank squad. Uh. Man, I really, really. Hope the next fucking game of this genre is like anime tech, <laughs> right? Or modern day, or just, you know, like, because I'm getting to the point what that you started at with Dark Souls, where it's like I Bloodborne was this burst of freshness, mm -hmm. right? I would like. A little bit more variation. A little bit more freshness in your life? Yes. Doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. Da, 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 da. Freshness comes to you. Oh, wait, we're doing. Oh, boy. Stall for time. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I was about to talk about something and now I forgot. You did it. Wow. You've empowered me. You've made me stronger than I've ever- than I ever thought I could imagine. You, uh, Obi-Wan. I'll ruin it all for everyone. Obi-Wan kenobi would me. Did you say Kenomi? Kenomi. Kenobi. <laughs> hmm. What the fuck? That looked like it pushed you physically. Fucking Dragon Ball moments. Yeah, dude. Oh, but so you wanna- there. you wanna get it- on the way in. So it has a startup, but it lasts forever. See? Yeah. Ooh. Favorable trades. 
I remember a time in my life where I actively mocked everyone in the Virtua Fighter community for caring about frame data. And then... I got better at Virtua Fighter. And it was like... Give me, the, give me that frame data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's about right. Like, that's, that's how it went. That's pretty much all that- that's the whole fucking story. Uh, okay. I guess it doesn't lead to above. They come anyway. Well, actually, this is good for you! Not if I die. It could have been! It could have been. It could have been good for you! It could have been. Wooly, I'm bad at covenants. <laughs> well, uh, we spent the, the money. We Not the money. We spent, we spent the humanity. And uh, we're back up to where we need to oh, be. Oh, the humanity. We fixed the... With the fair lady. The fucking Chaos Covenant. Because I... Like, this isn't... I, I don't know if I'm, I'm wrong about this. I was wrong. But, like, I didn't even forget. I never knew, ever, that when you left a, a Covenant in DS1 that you, like, lost your progress by half. How about that? Huh? That seems unnecessarily harsh. It now makes a lot more sense to me why DS2 just lets you switch covenants at a whim, like, often in terms of, like, putting a ring on or taking yeah. it off, because that's... that's unnecessarily restrictive. Hey. Hey, Wooly. I have a great idea. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay, you know that part where most teaching a class yeah. On how to defend yourself? How many times? No, 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 you listen to me, you listen to me. Okay. Because I haven't seen this joke before, I think we should get on ground floor. Okay. And do this. So, you know where you're teaching a self-defense class using hip-hop dance moves? Yeah, yeah, I see that clip. Okay, we should sync up the Persona 5 battle theme to that. And put, like, you little UI thing. Dude, that's hilarious. I think that will become a big meme. That would be such a big meme. And then, and then everyone can spam Bunny and Austin and, 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 and Jeff's feeds with it. To be fair, it is pretty glorious. So, here's the thing. But it's usually, usually when we go, hey guys, we've seen it, haha. -ha. <laughs> it's not a situation in which every single time it shows up on my feed, I still watch it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, God damn it! yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna play anyway, because you just want to see that. And in, and in some cases, like, I'm listening to the battle theme on loop at the time, and I pause that to watch the, the fucking Simpsons Mo thing. Did you notice that the gunshots of the shotgun are to the sync of the music? Did you notice that the gunshots go into minus one? Because of double barrel shotgun. <gasps> oh, I didn't catch that. Because a double barrel shotgun doesn't shoot three times. That's hilarious. All right, nice. time to make another loop de loop and try and get to that chest. Loop de loop. Without confronting that. Without confronting your inevitable mortality and the pointlessness of existence. I mean, that's kind of the theme of this entire outing. But we try not to think about it. So, Wooly, you, you and I, like, we're pretty comfortable in, in our futility. Well, it's not- I don't want to call- I don't want to say that we were, like, nihilist, because we're not. I am. You're not- you're a nihilist? Oh, yeah. Would you fully embrace it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Void encompasses all. I think it just- I think it just depends on what day it is for me. <laughs> right. But you ever- you ever- you ever deal with somebody who is encountering that feeling for the first time and they don't know how to handle it and they start to freak out <laughs> and you look at them with this kind of like, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hmm. Look, that yeah. looks like a roll. Yeah, it is. It's totally roll. What? Wow, that was bullshit. Holy fuck. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't run into any of those folks in a while. I used to work with a few. But yeah. Dude, it's... I Impossibly enthusiastic. Oh, impossibly happy. Oh no, I hate those people. Yeah, how dare you enjoy your life? <laughs> well, it's not that they're enjoying their life. It's how do I put this? It's people that seem to enjoy nothing, and I don't mean that they they lack enjoyment. I mean they enjoy at the, the state of nothing. Right. Like right, nothing right. needs to be going well for them to be happy, and like, man, come on. Nothing, nothing, like, <laughs> what the, do you got going on that I don't got going on? Yeah. How come you're happier than me? Fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that not only, uh, I may be nihilistic, but that doesn't spite me, uh, that doesn't stop me from being a spiteful, jealous cunt. 
<laughs> yeah, and that's respectable. Does it appear to be a drop from the ceiling? Um, doesn't, doesn't look I, like I can't it. tell. I can't yeah. tell. What about on to the left? Are you able to, like, there's a tiny wooden board on that side. Could you land no, on that, no maybe? No way. You sure? You think that's a jump? I think so. That, that looks too fucking rickety. Well, maybe I have to actually jump. No, hey, man. Hey, listen. All right. Pobody's nerfed. Hey, you kids like your memes? That's that's not a meme. That's a goddamn hey, fucking. Hey, hey. That does, it doesn't everything, count. If everything it, past like seventy one is a meme. It doesn't count if you, if you buy it at a Miami gift shop. Are you telling me that if I bought a fucking Doge pin or Doge T-shirt at a Miami gift shop, it would cease to be a meme? I'm saying that like it's not like that. Still required the internet to in, to to exist. Doge is still a thing. I'm talking about like. California raisins. Wow. Wow. How about that? I love that shit. Love that shit. Show me all your crevices. All right, zone. And spaces. All right, zone ten or zone? Yeah. See what I'm seeing? What I'm doing there? I'll take it. I'm doing a meme. I'll take it. Oh god. <laughs> Fucking you, you Snoop Dogg over here? Okay, so I don't know why. You Cosby over here? I don't know why, but on the way over here, like, I, s I read some fucking forum post that was like, oh, good memeing. And, well like, memed. well memed. And, like, that fucking absurd reality is now anchoring itself into my fucking brain. Yeah. It's so bad. It's so- and I started thinking about that fucking, uh, Burger King commercial that you showed us. Where it's the memer. Yes. Fucking stop! Stop! <laughs> fucking stop! Yeah. Like... Um, again, I, I'm- I'm a fan of, oh, Dark Fox, man. Um, Snoop Dogg, taking Instagram photos, just randomly going, meme me. Meme this. New meme? <laughs> and I'm like, oh god. So whatever you it, like, it just it loosens the effect so that when you eventually do run yeah, into yeah, that's what I want, man. I want loose memes. When you run into the one where he's like hugging uh, Sonico or whatever, yeah. it's like that doesn't mean anything because there was eight thousand that just didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Uh. Hey, would you would you get would you wear the symbiote? Oh, uh, what's the trade-off? Which which kind? Is it gonna feed on my life force? Is it gonna? Kill me eventually when it's bored of me. I don't, because that's my worry. Is I'm that worried you, that you're not Spider-Man. Therefore, I don't feed it enough adrenaline, and it, in my normal boring sitting on the couch life, is gonna be like the Simmons gonna be like, all right, time to kill this fucking leave him. You know. That's what they're gonna call me when I start polishing my head. <laughs> Listen, when you start polishing your head. I will, I will show up and do it for you. Damn. I'll have a towel, yeah. and I will like do the whole thing, the fancy thing where you flick the towel. Yeah. I will gladly participate in the shining of your head. Enjoy your new bonfire. Yeah. Well, old, uh, new bonfire. Not bonfire. It's a shortcut. Same as well. It's right next to that bonfire. To the one that I had the yeah, first one. Yeah. Because you were you, right before we started recording. You're like, ah, I got open. So. And you're like, it's gonna be a while. Yeah. Wow. Crazy talk activate. Now you're doing it on purpose. I am not doing it on purpose. Someone said that the moment you talked about crazy talk, it ceased to exist. Uh, mm. Could a stand be so strong it could remove itself from existence? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't even see that guy. Man, this place sucks. And that's what you get for drinking too much humanity-os. Alright. Humanitos? Wow! That was unlucky timing! That was really unlucky. That was the most unluckiest! I can't believe how unlucky my timing was. There, there, Wolves. The fact that it's almost one-to-one. -one. You gotta sit down. I gotta sit bonfire. down. I gotta sit down. I'm gonna do what I did last time. That's not what I wanted. Well, you are doing what you did last time. Got hit in the buns. Alright. Oh, she's coming forward! 
That's new! How lucky! Wow! That makes it work. You're doing a good job. Try shield. Shield. Oh, man! I forgot about this. Well, that's a cool guy. It sure is. So, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know what its deal is. But it's got a rock on a chain. And, and, and it's really gross. And that's as good at it. A thing is any. And anything you hit it with will bounce off. The bounce is really bad, though. Oh, yeah, well, it's the same on both, right? But when you bounce with the spear, you're far away. Yeah, you see that? You're right, you're right. Isn't that? Yeah. He did a little whip with his thingy. This little chain. He's unique. He's super cool. Okay. Yeah, I guess I wasn't looking at the damage, I was looking at the deflection. Mm -hmm. But, uh, that's, yeah, that's a weirdo. Sometimes a fucking rock and a chain are all you need. Just swing and a chain. And if you swing hard enough... Just swing and a chain. Anything is plus 15. Good one. Alright, here we go, part two. Part three. Part three of this DLC. <laughs> that's a rhyme. Should I start a hip-hop career? Yes. Alright, thank you. You think we'll be yes. more successful? Yes. Oh man, you're in the chasm of the abyss, man. How about that shit? All right. Okay, listen. Fucking whatever patches bullshit is going on over there can wait. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna go see this item. What? Get out of town. And all the buddies that come with it. Yes. That was a smart block, man. Feel like staying fresh, staying full. Oh god damn it! You walk <laughs> forward. First thing. Oh! I can't outrun you. No. I can't outrun you. That's really important. That room is gonna be fucking tough. Oh. Don't worry about it. Oh. You got this. You got a big spear. Ah. Ah. Nope. Nope. It's not a. It's, you see? It's like. It's yeah, not that's, a, that's like a. That was like a. Ah, there's a hit and a roll. If I got a roll in, then maybe, but it doesn't seem... I didn't activate. <laughs> it's getting worse. Woo! Woo! Ooh, you're dark, you're dark, you're dark. Okay. Very You know what? I can see... Yeah, kill that. Kill that for me. Kill that room light. There we go. Alright, now I can take my pants off, because, well, you won't be able to see my penis in the dark. Hey, man. Can't see to the light, either. Oh, that's pretty good. You get a thumbs up. You get a thumbs up. Just joking, it was my penis. You got like a billion eyes. You can't possibly not see him. He, <laughs> he shot the corpse over my head, and it looked really weird. That's a great- That's I, I got really <laughs> scared for a little bit. Yeah, me too! But it was just the corpse. Fuck it up now. I'm gonna try not to. Do it good. Now. So when you get in that situation, feel free to just do the dark silver pendant over and over and over. Because if you do, he can't hurt you. The startup is invincible? Yes. Do, do this it. This part right here? Do it again. Do it again. Look. Oh. It, it overlaps. Oh my god, I didn't catch that at all. Wow. When, when you're dealing with casters, if you need a second to think and all that there is you is casters. You can just do it again. Just do it over and over. I love that this is a fucking dank ass super pit. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh man, okay. That's where I'm done. I don't even want to interact with beings like that. I don't even want them to know that I exist. Like Actual humanity. Cognizant, aware, moving masses of humanity. Holy shit. What does it mean? I don't know. Can I absorb you? No. No, you're enemies. Careful. You're all you're all enemies. I don't know. Yeah, if you want to get the little ones, you have to lock onto them. Oh. And now it's more fun. Because there's no downtime. So they can be the most dangerous enemies. Because they don't- there's no hit They stop. don't even have an attack. The, yeah. They just move towards you, and you just die. 
Like, I think Plague made a tweet about it and said, Oh, enjoy that shit! Careful, don't freak out. Don't freak out. I'm not freaking out. I'm waiting for the next one. So you fell down a very, very odd yes. little magic hole. Yeah. Don't know what's happening here yet. But I see that cat. And I know there's at least another human. Strange as fuck. <laughs> yeah! A little, huh? <sighs> where did I get dropped into? Hey, where's this gonna bring you? Please, somewhere nice? Somewhere very nice. Wow, it's so fast. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Praise that sun. Where? Just walk forward and you'll know. Enjoy your shortcut. Your massive, massive shortcut. Hold the fucking phone. Wait, 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 wait. That's where you fought Artorias. Wow! Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, I gotta turn the light back on. Go boys. ahead. I'll tell him about him one day. Oh god, not for this zone. This sucks. Okay. Do what you can, though. I just- okay, I did it. Got it? You, the pen was in my ass. Right up the asshole. But you got it. Just like a sharpie. Good job. Um... So did you recognize the cat that you saw? I did. Who was it? I forgot her name, That's Alvina. Yeah. Ch the cat hanging out in the in the woods. Yeah. Now, if I didn't fuck her over, would she still be doing this? Well, you're in the past. I'm in the past. But time is convoluted, so... No, you're in the past. Okay. Oh. Okay. What were you doing? Just hanging out? You read that description, and I'll tell you a little story. Was that him? You you, you read that description, and I'll tell you a little story. Or her? First of all, him or her? I don't know. It's a dog. Was that Pupper? Read that fucking description, Wooly. <laughs> Steel great shield used by Knight Artorius, who succumbed to the Abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the Abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriots. Sif. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains. So high. Artorius goes to. So you see all those little, those little prism stones. Yeah. Artorius left those on his way down. Then he fights the boss, loses hard, crawls his way back up, puts it, leaves his shield because he only has one arm, and he leaves his shield to protect Sith. Then he crawls all the way back out. And by the time you get to him, he's oh, overcome with the abyss. Oh, he leaves him. Yeah. And then you go back in time, and you save Sif. And Alvina helps you do it. And <laughs> you... She leads you to him. He put the path stones from his way, on his way back up. Yeah. And you took him out before, while he was overrun. Right. And then made your way back down to where... Oh, fuck. Fuck, that's so cool. So now you know why you have to do this before you fight Sith. That's fucking cool. Wow, what a cool guy. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Protect your boy. That's and it, dope. And it add, it's like, oh, wait. When you fought him, that was actually the most depressing thing ever. But you didn't know that. He was all <laughs> fucked up and he was crawling his way back out. As long as and Sif then he, was okay. And then he's just kind of nuts by the time he gets to the top. Aw, fuck. Good job, Ben. So you- so- What a good guy. So, like, again, you fight him, bust it up, and not even- he doesn't even have all his gear. And he's doing the most <laughs> insane flip jump overhead ham helm splitters I've ever seen. And that's impressive shit. Fucking awesome. What a boss. So <laughs> then this- this- this becomes, like, as- when you beat Artorius, you go, but the legend is that the Artorius conquers the Abyss. 
right? Yeah. If you killed Artorias, he traversed the abyss. I didn't. I. I don't, did I read a description? Yeah, that said he, he conquered he it. He fights and conquers it. He made a cut and all this shit, right? Okay. And yeah. even Chester remarks that like the great hero who d defeated the abyss, blah blah blah. So if Artorias didn't beat the abyss, who did? Fucking me. Wow. It's like you like. Way to it's, big boss the legends. It's a, it's a great fucking predestination paradox. Way to big boss the legends. That I absolutely fucking love. Amazing how a cat has so much love for a dog. I know, right? Well, that that's the trio. That's like the, the party. <laughs> the knight, his cat, and his dog. All right, yeah, there's, absolutely. There's a fog door. No, you were the last humanity. No, no it was no. you. God damn it. Just let me extinguish you. Extinguish your essence. I didn't, you know, I showed up, I didn't expect to run into you, but now... Oh, it's your whole family's back here. Oh, the whole family's gotta go. The whole humanity family. I'm turning the living room back into the parlor, and you're all <laughs> going to die. Bobby humanity right over here, you dropped one, there you go. And you were worried about humanity. <laughs> hey, I have, a, I have a piece of advice. Yeah? Hit down on your D-pad. Okay. Hit, yeah. Right. Be aware that you have that. Okay. It will be required. Hey, what's going on in here? Hello? Oh, you. Primeval man. I've been looking for you. On second thought. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you're a big DLC boss. <laughs> you're a big expensive boss. Look at you. So you see that stick? Yeah. That's how he broke his heart. Okay. <laughs> so looking at him now, I'm overwhelmed with a thought. And that thought is... This is a beast. What are you even doing? I can't even see it. The father of the abyss. But you did decent damage, so hey. There's a winnable fight in here somewhere. <laughs> wow, <laughs> man. <laughs> Visually. Oh, yeah. Point out you're on the verge of death right now. I am. Yeah. Oh, you got no. Oh, I, sorry, I, I misread. God damn. So yeah, he doesn't look deformed, right? He looks God. enormous, and he also looks like he's made of different creatures. <laughs> he's, he's fucking cool. Oh, calm down, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, he's described as the prime primeval man. Right? Mm -hmm. And he's the father of the abyss. And the dude dude is bursting at the seams with humanity. Right? And he's living in the abyss. As you would. So he's either the first human being. Or he's the furtive pygmy. And he's the Dark Soul. You sure about that? It's what well, I don't <laughs> think anybody is, because I remember talking to Plague and he's like we thought that the DLC was gonna clean it up, and it doesn't. Okay. You think it's a possibility? Well, in 2, it straight up says after you defeated him and the Dark Soul got split, it became all those queens. Like Nashandra and the Ice Queen and all them. You you kicked his ass so hard that he split into multiple beings. I'll take that as a distinct possibility. Very little to be said. <laughs> That's Who good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. So back then, giants were just bros. Oh yeah. Hanging out, fighting knights, fighting with the knights. Well, he's the fourth side one. By side. You've now met all of Gwen's knights. Oh, is that who he is? That's Hawkeye Goff. That's Goff. <laughs> Or a hawk. Oh, you cool guy. He's the guy who made those fucking stones. Farewell, human. Lead thy life. Oh, you can check out his. <laughs> 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 oh, cool. What did he say? Live thy life. I'll find out. 
Ah, there. That's what I was. Is he? Is that black dragon causing you probs? Yes. Yes. I thought as much. In fact, I expected that to be the boss. <laughs> See, he says his, his own name. That's where the pronunciation comes from. So again, remember... The city of the gods doesn't want to fuck with this dragon. Is blind. What he, is what he just said. Oh, yeah. So he says he's blind. Apparently, I, I heard somewhere that it's some kind of horrible trick. And that, like, his helmet actually obscures his vision. And he's been tricked into thinking he's blind. <sighs> But I don't have the confirmation. Is for that. he about to Rhinox this shit? Is he about to pull a fucking Rhinox right now? That's a big bow and arrow. <laughs> That's a big bow. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! No! Ah, bam! <laughs> Kaboosh, motherfucker! You got got. You got gold. So... <laughs> wow. Yes. Wow. Without a... Dude didn't even think loose. about it. He's like, alright. will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in... Holy mind. shit! I await good tidings. So, Wolves, ah. you have now, uh... Unlocked, unlocked the next the, boss. Uh, the ability to actually Mike fight Calamate. Like, he just got finished saying... The city of the gods. No one's gonna fuck with Calme. And they have the sickest archers I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. To this point. Oh, yeah. And he goes, oh, you want a piece of that? No, I got this. Wow. And back to my hello, very goods. Because that's a use of his time. That's what I do. Oh. Hello there. That's what he wants to spend his time oh. doing. <laughs> making oh, fucking Burgorgstones. Very good. That's... Awesome! <laughs> He's the guy! He's the guy! Hey, if you want to be really ballsy, wolves. <laughs> you can, uh, next time you run into goddamn, uh, Manus, mm -hmm. you can go in in human form, mm -hmm. and there's a summon sign in the boss arena. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. That's interesting. It's a summon sign in the boss arena, on on the floor, apparently in the lightly colored part near the pillars. Is it for a cool guy? No. Okay. It's for a cool girl. Okay. The knights are all fucking Willie, cool. you're doing like a fucking cosplay reunion here. This is super cool. These guys are great. So I'm very confused, and I'm sure somebody has and, more and, and, and hold on, hold on, and she's super cool with you doing the service of putting Artorius out of his misery. Yeah, they're like, oh, he got all fucking crazed out. Thanks for helping him. I appreciate you doing that. Kieran's happy about it. Sif's happy about it. Alvina's happy about it. Goff is happy about it. At, at some level, Gwyn is happy about it, right? And you're saying that if I got balls... Oh, she's gone. Oh, yeah, she's gone. Follow Art. For follow Arturo. Ah! Arturo Sanchez of the <laughs> Abyss! Ah! CPM! Yay, Sif, what up? <laughs> okay, soul sign is in the center of the room on the lighter gray stone within the circle of pillars. I'll keep my eyes out for that soul sign. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. You fight the boss, I'll keep my eyes out. Yep. So that combo... That is the, is the killer. Oh, yeah. See it to your left? See that? Right there. Lock on. Oh! 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 <laughs> what? Yo! Yo, let's get it! <laughs> let's fucking get it! So for the for Sif, this is round two. Holy shit! Oh, you're wrecking my shit. 
Yeah, you cannot block that. Okay. It's too strong. It's fucking dope. And Sif's got the sword! Oh, you motherfucker! Oh, you're not locked on. Yeah, there it is. That's wow, a, man. That's a fucking flicker jab, man! Yeah, it is. It is. There it is. More, more, more. There you go. You see how it comes from all directions? I did. That was a new pattern. Dude, that is impossible to avoid. Like, you, like if you do not have that thing, you're done. Fuck. Fuck. I had to switch to it quickly. Okay. So here's how it works. Keep that on your tab. And switch to Estus. Only switch when you heal. Yeah, switch to Estus. Got it. Okay. That fight is... Oh, it's awesome. I don't know if this should be on camera or not. Well, yeah, what? What? But what? I'm so mad. Why? At everybody who fucking says it's just a cutscene. <laughs> I'm so mad. <sighs> Fuck it. Keep this in. Yes. If you're telling me that it's just a cutscene, who cares? Sif, whatever. Well, hold it's on. It's different if you get to go fight with her. No, 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 no. No, Wooly. You, no matter what you do in the present, you always get to do this in the past. Yes. But there is a cutscene change. I know. If, if you do this first. I know. And it's the context. But clearly, but the, the idea that it's just like, why are you wasting your time doing this path, all that stuff, whatever, who cares? Do the do the do the calf thing and uh, like that whole discussion. <laughs> no one ever brought up the fact that you're gonna fight with Sif, which makes your eventual boss fight with Sif so much cooler. Much cooler. That's so much more interesting, it, and I'm it, really happy so because, that I'm doing this now. Because the 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 it's the difference between the context of do you know about the Dark Lord? Yes or no. And right? it's not gameplay changing. It's just. Just like uh, plot, but god damn, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it is just a cutscene. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. People have seemed to be implying, oh, she remembers you or something. Like people were in the argument were trivializing, I guess, whatever it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah. And I and, and that's fine. But it matters more <laughs> in terms of just like knowing the plot. I care a bit more now. Yes. That's really cool. In fact, I'm pissed I forgot to turn human. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I'll do it next time. Oh, but then he keeps going. Yeah, he's a fuck. Oh! Boo! <sighs> Boo you! This dude looks awesome. Yes. And he is the last monster they ever designed for Dark Souls 1. Right? Yes. Then the team that was responsible for Dark Souls 1 immediately started to work on Bloodborne, yes? Yes. And the first boss you fight in Bloodborne is the Cleric Beast. Yes. Who looks... A lot like this. Very similar. And has the same, like, you have a hard time tracking movement because of the insane amount of... Even down to the big hand? The, the big hand and the yeah. the, the head thing. Yeah, 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 look, yeah. Look at that fucking move! Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think, well, okay, well, Orphan of Koss this is the last one, and then he's got a creepy thing on his arm, right? And then the first boss of DS3 gets a big creepy thing on his arm. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, like, okay, does this mean the final boss of the Dark Souls 3 DLC is gonna look like the first boss of the next... <laughs> It shows you where their head is at in yeah. terms of design. Well, I, what it actually makes me think of is like, does this mean that they're actually very serious about their sci-fi ambition and that not robots as the enemies, but aliens? You can do anything. Because that gives you the opportunity to do all sorts of tech and whatever, and then the design can be literally anything. You can be... It, it can be nonsensical. It can be organic, yeah. It doesn't have to even have a discernible mass or shape. Mm -hmm. Man, when he attacks Sif, that's just free. Oh, that's not free. Wow. God damn. I'm having... You know what's going to happen now? Yes. We're going to get a montage. And or a slow fade into victory. Yep. Bye for now, people.
throws the ball, <laughs> you fucking win. Dramatic to the end. <laughs> uh, I gotta run in and stab. So how do you like the part where you gain a completely new in form of mechanic just for this boss? Okay, we're talking straight up aerial raves. Yeah, he combos you and juggles you straight up into the air. With scaling, as you mentioned. Yeah, so that was off camera that I mentioned that, but uh, in some of all these attempts, I noticed it's like, okay, wait a second. When he hits with just the last big hit, it does like, I don't know, 60% of your life. When he hits with the whole combo, it does about 60% of your life. When he only yeah. catches you halfway through, it does about, like, it always scales to about the same amount. Yeah, so uh, what ended up happening there is I plus five to the black shield. Uh, plus uh, four. Plus four, the, the, yeah, the, the, black, the shield. And use that increased stability. To walk around him, and uh, this fight in particular was different because of how spammy he was on his magic. Oh yeah, I, uh, I, I hope. I wrote down here to put that in there. He's so fucking spam happy. It's nuts. Um, but that's but then and then that's the, that's the mechanic I'm describing. Like this is the only boss where you get like shit tons of projectiles thrown at you, and you have a method, a, a, a built-in method to just go no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and and you, you, you but whatever you get to like uh, the like Street Fighter Five it. Like parry or or Italy or yeah. whatever, just rah. And you have these moments where you you do the burst, and either this massive circle just bounces off you, or this rain of black death is like literally like rubbing up against the wall of your bubble. And learning how to see the projectiles, and then continue watching his his pattern. Yeah, because fucking. There's cool. a couple times where he would, while you were in the bubble and the the, the blackness was covering, he would be winding up for yeah. something as you came out. And I realized you gotta okay, no, you gotta you gotta just pop it with confidence and then keep your eyes like, on he's him. Got stuck. It's a whole new mechanic. Not to mention cross ups. He crosses you up, and not just like cross ups where they come down facing you the other way, like straight fighting game cross cross ups. Stays facing you, but drops down behind you, behind your block. Yeah, you know? you hit he will land in front of you, but his weapon slash attack will mm -hmm. land behind you around mm -hmm. your body. It's nuts. Wow. Soul of Manus, father of the abyss. This extraordinary soul is a vicious, lukewarm lump of gentle humanity. Uh, it's viscous. Viscous, excuse me. Uh, how gentle? I don't know. Ancient Manus was clearly once human, but he became the father of the abyss after his humanity went wild, eternally seeking his precious broken pendant. Ah. Which he grabs off of you. Yep. I see. He didn't grab it off of me, but he grabbed me. Yeah, because you had it. Yeah. So you know what? Then I um, this description definitely makes it sound like like he's the first human being. He, like, or he's yeah the the pygmy or yeah or, you know the the the, the first. But, but like the the confusion happened. It's like, well, is the pygmy the first human being? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, but I don't know. But I mean, I can say that this description makes him sound like the um like primary representative. Of the dark in the abyss. Yes, no, he he is like whether or not he's that first human or whatever is up for debate. It, as everything but at, is at this point, whereas Gwyn uh, is a king of light and all that shit. This is that's clearly the devil. Game this shit, the devil part. I kind of love it. You know you want to hit that soft cap on endurance. As much as I want to deny you, I actually do. I do want it. <laughs> I do really, 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 really want it. As much as you want to be like, fuck you, Pat, and then dump it in a resistance. I want to be able to roll all the way to the boss. Eh. Wait, hold on. Wrong way. No, you're going the right way. Damn it. <laughs> That's my favorite one. What? <laughs> uh, any ideas, friend? Am I high on drugs? Are you high on drugs? Are you high on drugs? Did I suddenly... New Game Plus? No? This isn't gonna work. Just run, I guess. It's straight ahead. Yeah, right? apparently that just ha- Like, I just looked it up, and people are like, What's up with this? Huh, you learn something new every day, huh? Where are you going? Not that side. I don't know where she there. is. This ain't gonna work. Maybe I can stop and heal. That's hilarious! Maybe I can stop and heal. Nope. <laughs> I'm 
not like what? I'm not about like the fuck. Like it. Woo. Oh, okay, you guys hang out out there. That's. I want to see him crawling through. Yeah, just clipping through everything. I'm gonna get you. All right. Hey, Elizabeth, what up? Don't worry about the noise. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued. This is actually the important dusk, one. But I will keep thy story to Why? Myself. This is the best way. For oh. thou art come from a time far ahead. So we no can't. One will sing thy yeah. <laughs> because if, because if, if we, we fuck over a, history, it will create a horrible time paradox. Yeah, it would. Remember all thou hast done for us. The legendary warrior that came from an unknown place. Yeah. That saved us and left. Was thine eye glancing? Like, nah, man, it was Artorius. Let me glance hither. No, man. No, that's gross. Oh, yeah. That's fungal, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to get that fungus mm, on you. Do I? Nah, man. Do I? Nah, man. Was thou glancing hither? Bye. Back to the present where pressing needs mm -hmm. occur. Hey, let me take a crack. Shoot. Crack shoot? Wow. Wow, you guys are wilding out. You guys are Nick what do you Cannon. Want, what do you want to fucking take your crack shoot at? So here's the uh, mad infuriating shit about Calamite. Uh, you can cut his tail off for a dope weapon. Ah, uh, as usual. Guess what? What? It's like the hardest thing ever. <laughs> like, it's... And uh, the weapon is actually, like, astounding. It's amazing. It's a great sword. Oh, there you are. But, uh... For you, wouldn't bother with it. Because, uh, he's hard enough. I'm sweet enough, thank you. I love how he's only got the one eye, and it's glowing black and evil. Hey, you remember that move? I do. PS2, but I it's do. not quite as crazy here. And, like, Calamite is very different from his, uh, everlasting dragon buddy. Ah, oh, tail whip. <laughs> I was right in position for that. But it didn't hurt. Because it activated on him. Yeah. I see. Ah, oh, two hits. So it's only two hits when you're in the center. Okay. Because it has like it basically pulses out from that. Okay. Uh you might actually have a shot at this. I don't think uh I don't have a shot. You don't think you don't have a shot? Yeah, I don't think I don't have a shot. Huh. Is this it? Oh, is this it? Oh, is that my fault? So that's twice now. And what happens is I'm trying to run sideways. You can't. Because I'm locked on.
<laughs> All right. Hey, Black Dragon Calamit, how you doing? Wolves, that was a tough ass fight. Woo! <laughs> that ends in comedy. Woo! Just dragging me alongside his neck. You just dragging you? <laughs> just dragging? I got ah. it. Hey, you gotta come out, come, come out with the beat. Oh, that's stupid. I hate it now. What? Now I hate it because I was afraid that Calamit was a stupid pun on the word calamity. No, shut I, up. And I was afraid, and I was like, no, it's Holy just a cool fictional up. name. Shut and up. And now it's like, no, it was a stupid pun. Shut up. That's dumb. Go get the souls and you the item. That's dumb. Yes, you're dumb. You shut up. Calamite's still a cool black dragon. That was a good boss fight. That was a good dragon fight. It's a good dragon fight. I like, um... It, you know, it reminds me of Sin in Dark Souls 2. I was about to say Sin. It's and, a lot like Sin. And I remember when, Dar when Dark Souls 2 came out and we played that DLC, we were like, that's like one of the best boss fights in the whole game. Calamite, get the fuck out. Receive double damage. A ring enchanted by the orange eye of Calamite, the bringer of calamity. Double damages, double damage, doubles damage received by its wearer. Useless ring befitting of no finger, <laughs> best left unknown or at least well hidden. What? That is a descriptor of this channel if I've so ever heard you, one. You? Useless channel befitting of no eyeballs. <laughs> this YouTube is best left you, you unwatched. Sh you should still watch it though. <laughs> I think that you should all still watch it. Let's level up your stamps. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got 10k in my pocket and in, in your pocket. 10k pieces. Got 10k in my pocket and uh, the other hands holding, holding the SKS. Holding, uh, the other ones praising the. So, so yeah, that works better. That works better, yeah. I, I'm not a good music That's person. That's right. I got one hand in my pocket and the other No, hand. that doesn't make any sense because you need both hands to praise the sun. Mm. Listen, I'm not musical literary genius. Oh. I got Morrison. one hand in... No. Welcome to... Uh, music I got writing. both ha no hands in my pocket and the other hands making just contact. Punch it. Just, just, just fucking punch it to the there. Making contact. There, there we go. Make there, we did it. You did it. You did it. You beat the two hardest bosses. Where are you going? I want to go talk to this Chester? guy. Yeah. Because I like him, and if I'm never going to see him again, I want to. Yeah, see you're his. never going to see him again. Any parting words for me? Oh, for Juniper's sake, <laughs> put some spring into your oh, step. Oh, okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was gonna say, like, Oh, fucking hell, you killed the dragon, too? You know, like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty much it. I know not if a human could even operate it. <laughs> yes, I need Drag it out of here. See if you can oh. fit it through the door, idiot. Nah. So they know about the primordial Once serpents. Demise. Yep. There's always one zone making. K Kath has been stirring up trouble literally forever. Has was Framped the first thing that like Gwen that, spoke to? I don't know, and that like it's like I have almost not nothing on them. Yeah. And other than the fact that they've clearly been around forever, and their names are the Primordial Serpents, which implies <sighs> like. From before recorded time. He's got no more dragons to slay. Yep. So he's under the impression that they got them all. They got them all. And I know that there's the Seath character at some point, so... Yeah, he's cool. Uh, at the end of the day... He's, uh, he's, a, he's a buddy. Bitch. They were out for dragon genocide. Yeah. And, well, the dragons were dicks. And they thought they exterminated them all. How, how would you feel about this DLC back in 2011? Uh, when was that? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Not when, but like when. Like what? Were middle we... of the PS3 360 generation. Oh, Skyrim. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, like this no. is a good goddamn expansion. No, I think I think uh, the moment you hit that Artorius fight, your balls explode a little bit, and you have to kind of piece them back together. Oh, because like what? the fuck just happened? Why is that so sick? So good. Yeah. And it's pretty well integrated into the core game. No, dude, here's the thing. Is a lot of the, the introduction of this Artorias character and all that has been, you know, it's been built up by a bunch of characters in the main game, so I can see all that. But the takeaway with learning, meeting the fucking Great Knights, 
and then actually like hanging out with Sif for a bit and seeing what that was is really cool. It's fucking awesome. I think I think that Sif piece of lore is my favorite bit about this. You entire saved thing. her. That's awesome. You saved Sif. And and Artorius is like that's a tragic hero. I'm excited for the next episode. If you feel that way, <laughs> let's bookend this shit. Yep. Well, Wolves, now that you've crushed all that shit and killed all your foes. I'm not finished killing off this mouse. Oh, you gotta kill that mouse. I already killed it. Woof. Where do you feel like going to- Hey! You just defeated Manus, the primeval man! What are you gonna do next? Fap. <laughs> that sound like a good um, idea? Um... I'm about to fap. Oh, okay. Here I go. You can never take the fap off. Alright, let's see if you can move. You are heavy, sir. But that's fine. You played heavy the whole game so far. I did. You are... 45.5 of 85.2. Oh yeah, you have a bunch you could throw on there. You put, like... Heavier stuff on. Because... You know, if you're gonna it's be either, it's either if you're gonna be heavy, you don't want to be just barely heavy. It's either right? back it off to the middle or push it to the limit. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me just see. Um, and then you can be a little baby the whole game. Um, can you even move? Yes, you can. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, let's get all that stamina out. Get it. Get rid of that stamina. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, your stamina is totally fine. This, this, Wooly, if you want to go big boys for big boys. No, I just want to look cool and do what I want. Well, then, but then look cool and do what you like. All right, I'm just going to try this out for a little bit. So, uh, let's go back to the library. Library is a good zone. Library. Uh, someone just linked to, uh, Plague's attempt at Artorias, right? And I didn't know what to expect going into that. Um, because I was like, I, I, I'm like, is he going to crush it? Like, how's that going to work? What I got was, like, the furthest thing from what I actually expected, which, which was, was Plague standing there and talking at Artorias with a sh with a great shield up. Like it's not even a fight; it's just I'm gonna monologue as we watch his animations play out. The fight didn't even happen. He he swung when he felt like it. Like it, it was nothing. Like it wasn't even a battle. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, I get it now. I guess. Like Plague's LP is not really an LP so much no. as it's a let's. It's let, a documentary. It's a, yeah. It's a it's a let's. Um, it's a oh uh, god, what would be the word? Like yeah, a documentary or a like almost director's cut commentary, without being the director. I am I am certain that there are episodes in which Eli does not move. <laughs> I'm dead so, certain, and like not making but a I, joke. Haha, he looks at bricks. Like yeah. But I, but I, I, and I was quite, and more than anything, I guess, I was really surprised to see how the Great Shield just really made the fight look like nothing. Oh, yeah. And great was, shields are great. I was like... Shields. Oh, fuck. That, there's an easy way and a hard way. Yeah, but that hard, easy way and hard way changes per encounter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, low energy. Here Back into the archives. Woo! Big high energy. Woo! I can't get hit by one of these arrows. What about the what about the soul mass? <sighs> there you go. Coward it out. There you go. And if you're lucky, you'll get a sun. What the fuck? That, that was a headshot. That guy over there. Yeah. No, he's back. Oh great. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. Eh, I wouldn't worry too that much. I wouldn't worry that too much about it. That too too much what? So Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that's outside the window of the NR lot. So yeah. see unlike uh his oh That's ridiculous. No way. Uh unlike his other uh dragon pals, which you may have seen are made pretty much out of rocks. Right? Oh man. Uh Seath is scaleless. Which means unlike every other dragon ever, he's not gonna live forever. Which is why he turns on him, because he's a dick. Bitch. Okay, I, I I still like need to see and contextualize anything about this character, because that's fine. Oh, here we go. Uh huh. Okay. He's a big fan of crystals. Huh? He's something like a crystal dragon. Wow, you are quite tough.
Well, better luck next time. Come but on. wait! You can't beat that version of the safe. Oh. Weird. Instead, he's now locked you up. I'm in the Hypogean Gowl. A little bit. Uh, how, um... Does one manage to allow the chosen undead to die and then change where they where they spawn? That's a that's a curious. I don't know. That's a that being said, Cease real good at magic. So if anybody could do it, it'd be that guy. What with these experimented people? Uh huh. Because he's trying to make something, uh, some kind of crystal that'll make him live forever. Because he ain't got no scales. Because he's a bitch. I hope I get to. Well, no. I don't know. Am I gonna talk to him? Whatever. We'll find out. What, you think you're gonna talk to him? Not talk to him, or I guess an item description is gonna explain all that stuff, but... Yeah, it's gonna be like, see, the bitch. Bitch! There you go! You've escaped. Oh, shit. Jailbreak alarm? <laughs> Interesting. Different. Unleash the fuck. That is an alien. <laughs> yeah, they're they're weird. Why why is it gotta be like this? Why is it gotta be huge, gross aliens? All right, here comes the fuck. And those guys are also hauling ass. <laughs> Isn't that great? I like that. So you're quite a bit up there, so you you can look down and see like how far those those gooey guys are. They're at the bottom floor. They're working their way up. I guess I'll follow these guys, then. This is a little awkward. The shadows are a little awkward, too. Oh my god. What the <laughs> fuck is happening right now? <laughs> what is happening? What a mess! Holy shit! Alright, let me just... What a fucking mess! Okay. Well, I guess we gotta do this. Unless... no. Oh, you're fast! <laughs> yeah, they sure are. Oh, you're fast and, and quick. Hmm, I feel like fire would fuck you up. But only if you can get the angle right. I feel like a nice drop attack would fuck you up, too. Oh, yeah. You might be able to get multiple, even. Yeah. In fact, you are able to get multiple. So a little bit of a d uh, Demon Souls thing there. Hey! The Archive Tower... I'll take this one. Once a tower of precious tomes and letters became a prison after the onset of Seath's Madness. The serpent men who guard the prison know not the value of what they hide. In the basement of the tower are the writhing mistakes of the terrifying experiments were which were conducted here. And it's the extra key. Perhaps the serpent men were careless. There are several keys scattered around which fit archive tower cells. Okay, we can get this wire out of the way. There we go. So, so yeah, there's there's your little thing. Like, no, Seath is crazy. Seath's kind of lost it. There's always somebody who's like, well, what if I did this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, man, dude, come on. Alas, I'm in prison once again. I don't suppose you could stage me again. Yeah, of course you'd come here. Of course he would. I have to assume that you got here after I did my work. Uh, Look at this creepy fucking snake thing! Alright, shut up. Shut, shut up. up! Shut up! I hate your music, it's bad. You could do it. Stop it. No jailbreak. Everything was fine. See, like, see, he fucking, like, removed bookshelves. <laughs> and, and, like, yeah, because this is all wood in here. Yeah. It's all He wood. removed bookshelves and then added, like, bolted grates onto the fucking things with, with crystal. With crystal. Wow, that's super, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. That's a really good detail. What a fucking good detail. This is just a peaceful library. And you can That he's in. like, no, 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 I'm, I'm looting, uh, we gotta, crystals. We gotta lock him in. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, to be fair, crystals are pretty. They're very pretty. I like a good crystal. I don't need to sell. Well, yeah, I have some crystals that I have to sell. Would you like to buy one of my crystals? Um, no. So me and the girlfriend were in a fucking uh, farmer pre that's a shopper's drug mart, aka a Walgreens style area for everybody who don't know. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And it was listed as an anti-nausea bracelet. Okay. And I picked it up. I was like, what the fuck is this? What could that even mean? She turns it over and she's like, stimulates acupressure points in your wrists to cure nausea. Yup. Selling that in my fucking nice grocery store. Uh, fucking pharmacy. Yeah, man. That's some dumbass shit. Hey, at least up here in Canada, we don't have homeopathic pills for sale. Yeah, we do. Do we? Yeah. I thought that was- I thought that shit was like not- was straight up banned. That doesn't mean you can't buy them. At our- at our shopper's drug Oh, no, not at the shopper drug market. No, no, no. Yeah, you gotta go looking for that. Yeah, no, you gotta go see a guy. Yeah, that- but then- but I'll give you his cucumber water. Yeah, sure. So what you're saying is there's a ripe market for cucumber water that I could get into. <laughs> I mean, it's there for the taking, really. Trying to enjoy the moment, asshole. What are you doing? Motherfucker. Anyway. Back to the nice view. And now back to the wall. Um, so that makes me... Oh, check out that shit! You see that shit? Yeah. That's a door! What is happening? I don't know, they fucked up. Oh, is that the lead the bug door? Yeah! I heard about this. They fucked up! I heard about this. They moved the whole thing over, perhaps, but they forgot to select a door. It's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, cool. You can walk through it if you no clip up there, but it goes nowhere. <laughs> uh <laughs> so you just do the animation and then fall. Yeah, just oh no, you no clip and then you know kick your verticality up and then you just open the door and it opens. Goofy then... shit. Hey, this is my favorite zone. In the Duke's Arcas. Right here? Yeah, right here. Because it's so infuriating to navigate. However, you have a hidden benefit, Wooly. And that is, you don't, you don't need to find every item. You just need to get to Seath. Uh. <laughs> well, hold on. Like, is this Seath's library to begin with? Yeah, the Duke's are He's the Duke. Oh, okay, okay. So he... Duke's archives are for Seath. But the idea that he had to build those prisons made me wonder if, like, you know, he originally took. There's a normal library here. Yes. It's gone now. Uh, it is, I imagine, a generalized super magic library. Um, see, at this point in the universe, is the world's foremost expert on. I'm going to assume literally everything. You think he's the smartest man in. Uh, smartest dragon, definitely. Smartest dragon in Lordrum? Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I bet he read all these books. Especially considering he lives forever. Any, any, did they ever talk about, like, how, where the dragons actually came from? No, did, they didn't come from anywhere. They just always were. Yes. And the, then, the intro makes it very, very explicit that the dragons did not come from somewhere. They, and, they exist. And then the dark and the fire and all yeah. that shit happened afterwards on a timeline. Yeah. But the dragons just... The, the concept of time is not necessarily even something that exists before flame. Like, it's it's very creation -nifty. Like, where to come from? Shut up. Your brain cannot comprehend. I can even- I can wrap my head around the idea of not comprehending more, you know, yeah. more than I can wrap it around the actual, like... But wait, no. But Everything in my entire frame of reference of existence relies. Well, on you're the using the phrase timeline. "frame of reference." You already screwed up. Yeah. You're getting there. I'm getting lower and lower. Ah, oh, you fuck. Oh, it's all great in here. That specific move, getting uh, uh, like breaking the body explosion by hitting him enough, mm -hmm. shows off that the rules uh, between player characters and enemies are often identical. Yes, because, because if you put on the exact. Ring that and gear that he wears, you exactly have that level of poise. And it takes that exact thing to knock you out. Oh, boo. That's genius. That's really smart. I like how they do that. And that makes sense why those hacks to control bosses work so well. Well, they're not, they're not, they're not even hacks. They're man. mapped to a controller. They were always mapped to controllers in dev mode. Like, the hack is just unlocking uh, debug mode. Oh. And then people went, wait, what? All enemies have all of their moves associated with 
like, controller <laughs> prompts? It's that easy. What the fuck? It's that easy. That's crazy. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of, like, benefits to that that I'm sure are not even apparent. Yeah, to which is now. you can have fucking versus matches with the dev team. But the sickest one being that, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's loop one of the archives. I imagine a lot of the testing happens like, listen, now, is this boss complete or shit? And you do you do fighting game style matches, and if it's a if it's a not if it's a 10-0 matchup, the boss it's, is OP. It's too much. Listen, man, Artorius is a 9-0 matchup against most of the cats. That's okay. Wait, 9-0 matchup? <laughs> that doesn't work at all. That's an infinity win rate. Bully, why was Tupac killed? I keep hearing who. But why is always more important to me. They had to stop him. He was just too good. He was ruining the rap game for everybody else. He was shine shining. Um, he said it with his final words, I believe. Fuck the police. Coming straight from the underground. Well, I doubt he had time to add that. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a whole other group of people. But the sentiment remained. And you know what another good reason to set the next game in the future is? There's only so many of this library type that I can see without it kind of getting a little old. Yeah, well, a library's a library. Right? For a second, I thought you were going to say because hip-hop souls can exist, and, and I, my brain started running. <laughs> running oh. to the place that it needed oh, to get to. Oh, yeah. No, and it's, it's like, listen, man. Uh, there's been... Okay, Christ. Do you want to join the Wu-Tang Covenant? Cause I do! It's nothing to fuck with. <laughs> Dude, it's made... free! Um... Have you seen the, um, um, the, the new Super Black, by the way? I have seen the new Super Black. It is awesome! I don't know how I feel about it. I love the idea that our eyes don't even know what's happening. It, it, it is a, some form of paint. And or substance. It's, a, you, it's not even a paint. It's it's a thing you build. You can. It's a material you can build. Well, the point is, with. it's something you can either put on things or make shit out of, and it it absorbs so much light that it is below the human threshold of perception. <laughs> and it's uh, like like super obsidian or whatever the fuck they. It call appears it. as if it was a void in the world. In the world, yeah. You're you're like if someone has a sculpture, you just see no form to it. Just the shadow, or just the, the the absence of a thing in your in your vision. It reflects, indicates it, that it exists. It's fucking weird. I love it. I love, and even on camera, you can get a piece of what that feels like, but you can't fully experience it until you're looking at it or holding it. Like, it looks like somebody deleted that part of the frame. <laughs> What's the hell? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you look like an asshole. I look super dumb. That looks terrible. What a mistake. <laughs> Alright. You're super high up. Okay. Fucking get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Alright, fine. Really? You should have two-handed it. I guess I thought he would be so weak that it wouldn't matter. This is kind of goofy. A little? Now he's dead for sure, sure. Until you miss again, and then it's like, should have two-handed it. There we are, there we are. Right. You did it. Is there a stairway down on that side? Holy, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, I think so, okay. What are you talking about? You just looked at the floor and went, wait a second, and then walked ten feet and then asked a question that this? I don't understand. I see this dead body here, meaning I've been here. Yeah. And that's been there the whole time. Is that what you were asking? Okay, I'll ask later. I'm clearly getting nothing here. Not that's good. <laughs> you know what my mom did that reminds me of this fucking situation? She called me last night on the phone to, to chat about- Dude, bullshit. I'm just getting lost in the library. I'm getting lost. There, thank you. That's it. That's, That's it. all I wanted. I'm getting lost, I don't know. That's but it. Regardless, my mom calls me up on the phone, right? Here, you said, like, when you said, like, oh, you have left- what you have left to do is go down. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I said the floor. So I started walking towards the stairway to go down, and I was like, I see a dead body, that means I've been there before. 
And that means that I, that's not where I need to go because I've already been there. Okay. So now I'm just like, which stairway down have I not taken? Because I'm, I'm getting Both twist, twist turned upside down. Okay, it's another one of those kite shields. This one down here? Yeah. Okay, but here's why I'm confused. Is not is the floor not the same beginning of the level? No, it's the same layout on the other side. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, that's why. I, I thought it was all the same room. And that, that divider was... Yeah. I didn't get that it was a mirror on the opposite side. Now it makes sense. So the reason why that thing reminds me is that my mom calls me up yesterday. And I go, oh, hello, mom. And she goes, hold on. <laughs> and she put me on hold. Yeah. I've had that happen before. Like... I've had that happen. Ma, I love you, but for fuck's sake. Here's your friend. Okay. You know, the funny part is I was trying to read the message. Oh, you didn't even realize there was bonfire there? <laughs> it didn't show up on the camera. Oh man! That's or rather, I was looking at—I was looking over the balcony. Like it was just, just—it was like that. Yeah. So, so here we are at that assault fort. We're sitting at the bonfire, puts you in arrows range. Can I? Did I? Did I pick up enough to throw my thing up to five? No. Yeah, you did. Fuck it. I certainly did. Did you pick up? Oh, whatever. You kick it up. I certainly did. That's good. That's real good. Why did they kick me out of there so quickly? Oh, I have a strong idea why. Sit down with the bonfire? Yeah, that's right, you can't. I'm being invaded. Another pulpit. Why would Seath have those? I don't know, they're human signs. No, they're not pulpits, they're reading, reading lectures. Reading lectures, yeah, 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 okay. It's the stand and read, even though you're a dragon. How the fuck do you open that? Oh, it's gotta be a fucking lever somewhere above you. Motherfucker. What a weird... I completely fucking forget where that lever goes, or is. There we go. There we go. There it is. Took him a while. That's... absurd... how long that took. It's kind of insane. A while, I ha like, that makes me think something's up. Well, I found where your stupid lever is. Okay. It's upstairs. Okay, because I did a tour around the edge of this library, and it's certainly not in here. So we might as- yeah, that away. Oh, oh, hey, there he is! Is he lagging, like, super horribly to you? Or no, okay. Just gonna normal fight me? He looks like a normal person. Yeah, he's just a normal invader. Weird. Alright, well... Figure out your plan. Wow! That was fucking... Pointless. Laid back, I'm gonna say? Thanks, you pick his shit up, I guess. All right, now switch the fucking staircase around. Cause I want to take a good look at like oh, well, I guess I can just look at it here. Now go down. They're fancy. And there it is. Oh shit! I completely ignored this part. Yeah. Oof. Oof, indeed. There you go. I was just asking about that. Yep. So this is where the reading has been taking place. Some of it, anyway. This looks like a Chandler hangout spot. So yeah, Chandlers are fucking dirtbags, and Seath's a crazy person. What an asshole. Oh, now you're getting into it. Now you're fucking getting there. Hey! Nah, says the tongue. Yeah. There we go. You... ...did a great job there. Didn't do it. No. Didn't do it yet. Now I did it. Now you did it. That's a bloodborne. Alright, what's over here? The room. And... Then it was here. Then there was here. Oh! That's the... That's the... The, uh... Staircase that moved. Yeah. Oh, that's where that was. Okay. Hmm. Man. Wow. Jeez. Jesus Christ. I didn't even realize when I went back to, to that, that lever that I was above that. I thought I was on the other side. Like, I'm so fucking... Don't worry, buddy. It, the, your navigation nightmare is at an end. 
with this staircase. And, uh, and uh, it's clear that my navigation is terrible, but you have to admit, that is a tricky well, it's, la it's, level it, layer. Well, it's like, explicitly meant to confuse Yeah, me. I'm just, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I can't take that all on. Like, it's meant no, to be No, you have confusing. to take it all on. I'm going to, I have no choice. But I will still say... You're gonna carry that weight. I will carry it while still telling people that, hey man, right? Hello, sir. Let's go. You versus Goldilocks. Come on, buddy. So those crystal monsters make a little more sense now. Yes, they do. Coming from this guy. Especially since it was right next to the freak-ass Hydra. Ah! Yeah, you did it. Hey, whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, every one of them has someone inside of them. All the ones, all the big ones do. Holy shit! You directed me. Why? Thank you. I am Googling the Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there. Sorry, not the right time. Very not the right time. I must think of some way to repay you. <laughs> Fucking Katarina armor. Okay. Yeah, it, it faked you out, didn't it? You really did. She got anything else to say? Oh, have you seen my father? What? If you wouldn't miss him, a suit of armor just like mine. Oh! You seen him? Yeah! Oh, my goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Huh. Him, truly. Oh, just stay put and keep out of trouble. It's what he usually does, but I, I help him now. Mm -hmm. Think, think. What the hell, man? Dude, oh, it's God. like, it's the Can best. you find a picture of her without the armor on? It's, I want to see what she looks like. I will, I will give it a shot, but that may be tough considering Siegleend is a fucking opera character. I did not expect to run into fucking the Sieg. <laughs> the Sieg clan. The Siegs. And look, there's Zeon over there. The Sieg, Ze yeah? That's bad. Yeah. I came to Lordran to laugh at you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's how you turn it around. This has been one of those fucking weeks. It hasn't it? Has. Where it's just like... But, but you know what makes it better? What's that? Um, you never see it coming. Ooh. Hey, Wooly, call my phone. <laughs> I'm playing a game right now. Do, I'm do, literally let's play it right now. Do, I can't do, call you want, do you want the ringtone version that I made? Sure. Too sure. bad. <laughs> make it yourself. Fine. Fine. If you're Dick. if you are gonna make it yourself, then I might as well just give it to you. I'm pretty happy with Moriocho Radio, but That's wait, wait, I thought that was your text message. It is my text okay. message. But yeah, I can What's your ringtone? It's still knighthood. Okay. It's it, wow, wow! You've stayed consistent. I love that song. I don't like it. I love it. You wanna make babies with that song? It makes me happy when I hear it. But... So does Persona 5. Yeah. Yeah, do it like that. Like that, you say? Like that. Yep. Slopes are weird, and in this game, even when there's non-slopes, they still act up weird. I will confidently strive forward. With... Less confidence. Oh, you should definitely tone that confidence down. It's like that. You're gonna come. You're gonna come. I'm sorry? What are you doing? I, f I forgot this guy was here. Just go. Oh, fine. fine. They're so slow. Yeah, I, don't, I know, but I don't know what I'm running into. So. I'm sorry, that one actually, I was being that guy. I don't know what I'm running into. You're running into an area with no enemies. I don't, I didn't know that. You know, try not to forget. I know. Hey, man, I apologize right away. Thank you. This is some big pit. I don't have time to take it in right now. The Seath went like crystal crazy in. Oh, that's a moonlight butterfly. Sure is. I can fireball from there. Yeah, but can you kill a moonlight butterfly with one fireball? No. But it's, it, could be, it could be a, a you know, a weaker enemy version. Well, if you look farther in, you can see more of them. Yeah, so maybe he doesn't take as many hits, you know? I don't know. That was a mistake. I was completely baffled as to why you wanted to attack them in the first place. I thought I'm, I thought a cool item might come out of it. Well, there's something coming out of it. 
I also expected it to attack me at any moment. Ah, oh, that. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude! First try, even. Wow. With the moonlight butterfly coming from the guts, huh? Yeah, you certainly added the modifiers to yourself on this one. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. He's... Yeah. I also like that the moonlit butterfly boss that you fought earlier was just like a fucking butterfly that just kind of wandered down to Lordran. Yeah, he just <laughs> kind of got got where he wasn't supposed to go. That, yeah. I fucking love that. I wonder, I wonder if there was a reason for that. It's just another enemy. Well, luckily, Butterfly doesn't hold grudges. Yeah, uh, which is nice. Good to know. I hate this part. I hate this fucking spot. So that happens every time. Yeah, right? every time. It's always happened every time. It's the worst. Okay. Well, I can see there's a message floating right here. So I can see that this pathway does, in fact, continue. It does, in fact, exist. All the way down to there. So there's a couple paths oh, in here. Fuck, there's a couple paths, isn't there? Uh, uh this is not this is not to, to dunk on you. You're getting pretty lucky with these fucking placements. Yeah, thank you. You're hum getting pretty lucky. No, I I appreciate what the human human race has done. Because, like, I did this at a time where most of it was totally manual, and that that was rough. You just take. It there's slow. nothing past him. Okay. Ah, well. Oh, I'm liking this confidence. Granted. That's all I have. Granted, like, I'm seeing death shit happen in front of you that is giving you power. Yep. Just get the fucking thing! Just get it! Yeah, oh, that was so not worth this trip! Playing this offline, fuck you, is probably. It's gonna the happen worst. every time. Okay, well then. A sprint, maybe? No, do you just have to aim. Like, forward and to the left as you do so. You won't fall off, it's just gonna feel like you're going to. Okay. Yeah, playing this area offline must be absurd. Yeah, listen, it's not great. Listen to that sound, though. Th I'm, I'm glad- thank god these butterflies are peaceful. I know, right? So this one curves. Fuck. I see it, I see it. I can see it. So... Straight lines. And... Our brains are meant to do this. Yeah. The human brain is really good at all sorts of stupid shit. Connecting the dots. Hey! Congrats. Oh, dude. Every hit. Every hit staggers. They have zero poise. Perfect. It's not they have zero. I'm sure they have some, but they I... They have, like, two. But two I've got a lot. They got two poise. I got lives. So Poise damage for you. Did you see that I, shit? I, I did it. It was a trade. I did see. That was fucking weird. Okay, yeah, I have one big you. piece of advice. Everything else is the uh, shit you've dealt with before, right? Yeah. See that crystal? Yeah. Smash it. <laughs> oh boy. All right. That's the only thing you need to know. Okay. And once you smash it, it's smashed. There's something kind of cool about this armor, though. Mm -hmm. There's something very tired. Yeah. Like, oh, another drag, more dragons. Fine. Bitch. Bitch. So that is what the king in DS3 was trying to become. And he's he he's pretty. Yeah. If not embarrassed. Oh, he's behind the crystal. Or no, it wasn't, it was the other way. The camera turned me around. So here's Cease's C deal. That crystal is the source of his eternal life. And that's the end of that. If that crystal continues to exist, his wounds will instantaneously auto-heal. Wow. That's why he keeps it down here. And it's why you're completely one million percent unable to beat him in the other situation. Oh, yeah! Careful of that meter. I don't even know what's happening it's right now. It's curse. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. 
Yep! Seath does curse, which you are now cursed. Oh, fuck. But that's every time you fight him. Every time you die that via that method. Alright, let's do round two. And this time you do have to get behind him to smash his stupid fucking crystal. Oh, the positioning changes. I see. I fucking hate his creepy tentacles. I guess that would I be the tail. I fucking hate them. No, that's- that's his tail. Okay. See how it looks exactly like his other creepy tentacles? Oh my god, you do so much damage with that two-handed. Maybe you should have gotten more scale, see. I don't think the one crystal scale was doing it for you. The man invites you into his house, and you go into his cave, and smash his eternal life, and then stab his creepy tentacle bits. Surprisingly not that hard. No. At all. Soul of the Albino Seath, the Scaleless. A fragment of a Lord Soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Seath allied with Lord Gwyn and turned upon the dragons, and for this he was awarded dukedom, embraced by the royalty, and given a fragment of a great soul. Although just a piece, it will still satiate the Lord Vessel. So you're a fucking dragon, and you got a piece of his soul. Yep, and he invented magic. How are you such a bitch? for being that in insanely powerful. Well, he's not the, the- okay, here's the deal. His magic power is ridiculous, but he is exceedingly physically frail. Well, unbel- and did- did the- did the, uh, did Gwyn's soul do that to him? No, he's just always been a bitch. He's always been like that, yep. so he's the one that would betray them because he felt- he, Well, everybody else gets stone scales of immortality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one that will die of old age. So that's why he did it. So he goes, fuck this. Fuck this? Yeah. Fuck I you. I see. I see. He's still a bitch, though. And he went down super easy. Yeah, super easy. That's Im that's impressively sad. Bitch. I wonder what the ancient dragon would have to say about- Not the ancient, the guy downstairs. Wonder, Everlasting dragon? I wonder what he would have to say. I, I know what he would say. Uh, yeah. Those, come on. Ancient dragon, everlasting dragon, let's be real. There, there's a- well, there's- they're different. Let's be real. There's the dragon god and the dragon- dragon. Rock the dragon. Dragon Ball Z. I remember- I forget where I read it, but somebody pointed out that the world of Dark Souls, having all these gods and- and demons and whatnot, is all kind of a sham because there is no afterlife, because your soul literally just sits on your body and you just go pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> and that keeps happening forever. Yeah. Like, you die and your soul literally just melts out of your chest and lies on the ground. What I want to know is, if souls are kind of like... atoms, or, you know what I mean? In the sense that, like, there is a limited amount and... Well, not limited in the sense... In the, in the, what I'm trying to say is, everything's made up of these things. Yeah. Even nothing is made up of these things. Uh-huh. So... Souls, when you die a second time, where do they go? What happens to that pile of souls? You can't explain that. It's like... It's What's like the science? Ma it's like magic. Uh, sorry, not magic. It's like magnets. What's the science of a double death? What's the science of a wait, soul? You, wait, you talking about you talking about undead? I'm talking about I'm I'm an undead. Yeah, I you're have, an undead. I've collected a million souls and I died twice. A million twice. souls, yeah. Where does that million souls go? Uh... Oh. Canonically. Uh, canonically? It just sits on the floor for somebody else. In another convoluted and It goes timeline. into an, another convoluted Lordran. <laughs> and becomes a, a soul on some body. Fuck you. That's stupid. That is stupid. I'll turn that mouse off, Wolves. Oh, quickly. Quickly. It's gonna kill you. Mouse off. Thank you. There it is. Now we got this. Big hat, we coming for you. As the world glitches out and fucking disappears in the background. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, hey, the flow of time is convoluted in Lordran. So I was having a discussion further to uh, my the 
like inadvertent rant I went on about the Sith bits. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to someone about the difference between like how you can either do it like if you do if if I fought Sif already, mm -hmm. then I would have gotten all that information after the fact. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the person was saying that you know there's some merit to doing it that way as because well. Because then you just get you get to feel bad, just bar. real, just ugh. And I said, okay, I understand how that works, and I see how there's two sides to this. Mm -hmm. Personally, mm -hmm. as someone who I, I know myself, and I know that uh, you know, it was you can do the shortcut, right? Yeah, yeah, like you this. totally. Um. I know personally that, for me... Uh-oh. Oh my god. Woo! That's still technically a shortcut. i much rather get context before than afterwards, because, if you remember, uh, there was a little problem in Metal Gear Solid 4 called the uh, Beauty and the Beast unit. Yeah. In which it was like, hey, kill this boss you don't give a fuck about. Hey, Drebin calls you up and goes, Snake, here's a reason why you should give a shit. And oh, then, you're such an asshole. And then you read about why you should care about these characters that you just fought after the fact. And I'm like, that's And have been like faceless, well, quote unquote faceless monsters the whole time. Right? That like, sucks. oh, they're so evil. Oh right? my god. Yeah. It's it like, I would have much rather to learn about their past before. Yeah, because then during the fight, you'd be like, oh. Mm, so, oh, mm. you know, while there's, a, while there's an understandable position on both sides of this fence, I know me. I want to know You beforehand. know what side of the fence you want to live on. I want to know beforehand, because that makes it better than than uh, doing it and then feeling bad after the fact. Context is important. Was I too late? A little bit. Did I kill- killing Seath means I was too late? Uh, not quite. But you got a Firekeeper soul. So you can bone out. Just bone out and follow me on this one. Alright. My memory isn't perfect, but it does have a few gems left in there. You should buy one more, or two, a few Yeah, you bones. should buy a couple bones. Fighting a boss means time moves forward. Yeah. Alright. Now you're gonna wanna transport yourself to the Duke's archives, and then you're gonna wanna go through that secret bookshelf door to your right. Oh, so he just does it anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe I didn't meet the requirements. And Maybe I'm feverishly that looking that. through the wiki in order to find him. All right, I'm gonna look in this other library room, and uh, the there he is. Go. All right, hey. kind of already figured it out, bro. Oh, but at least you're talking. I to smashed you. it to bits. So the basic deal is that if you you go back and you save him. And then he teaches you about the crystal, and then you're like, oh, now I know how to smash him, and where to go. Got it. But the problem with that is that the level clearly points you towards that giant crystal pit, and then you hit him, and then you see a big fucking shiny thing that he's clearly defending, and you just do it. <laughs> I was like, whoa, 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 what's the problem, dude? I'm good. I'm still good. Don't worry about me. No, man, I'm In good. Fact, I'm good forever. In fact, you should know. You should have seen tons of people go hollow in your time, and you should know that I'm the one that's hanging in there and actually making progress. I'm doing it. You're really fucking far gone, man. But she's amazing! Yep. I'm so impressed with how dedicated she is to her moss. Well, that because of that, she's good forever. That's- that's really all You know, she wants to sell her moss and, and all that crap. Your mental state is super duper impressive. It's- it's a rock because of that. I- I'm- I'm fucking blown away at your abilities. Oh, you're gonna want to buy more of those. Those are super useful. God damn. I hope if I hollow out, I have an obsession that is, like, strong enough to keep you going forever because it's unattainable. To not make me, you know. It's like Wooly, you're gonna have to win Evo. Oh man, I guess <laughs> I guess I just get to live forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. I knocked down a thing. So now you're in the part of his quest where like you can miss his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because coming down all the way fucking here is very out of the way. Big Papa Chumps over here. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anybody want this? All right. But can you spare a few scraps of moss? I can. Also, I saw your family. Yeah. Perhaps this too 
is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> oh boy, boy. Good, good. Is he good. not the best, man? Is he? It's like, oh. Yeah, I want. I, although now I'm, I want to know about his daughter too. I want to know what's going on. I want to know what, uh, what what's the Katarina family like. They're cool. That's what they're like. They're all dressed in fucking onion armor, and then they're gonna show up somewhere else, I guess. Something like that. Something like that. I have bark, bark. Poochie woof woof. Poochie woof. I brought some biscuits. <laughs> Why is that cracking me up so bad? Oh, maybe it's because you're saying it, honestly. <laughs> The idea of somebody having a, a giant wolf with a sword in its mouth. You're like, what's her name? Oh, her name's Poochie Wolf Wolf. It's Poochie Wolf Wolf. <laughs> oh, you know when you say wolf to like a big, like horrible joke or like uh -huh. horrible meat? In, like, is there a way to like push that further with like bark? Bork. Like straight up like bark. Like, oh man, you're ugly. Oh man, bark. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could horf. Or is that- or is that only applicable AFTER someone says woof? By the way, woof. <laughs> Watch where you're going, idiot! Bark, bark. <laughs> horf, grrr. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We'll see you guys at the door. <laughs> you see, this is a bad state of mind right now. You made it here. You didn't fall down. It was. It was. Do you feel strong? It was, it was tricky, and it was dangerous. But here we are. Okay. Oops. So this is to kill the four kings. Yeah. A little bit of a sequence break. Poochie woof woof. Hey, I'm Poochie woof woof. Welcome to Jack. <laughs> Can I just? Scratch? This is called. Can I just scratch under your, your fur a little bit? This is called the sword fight in your teeth! Can I give you a little shuka shuka? You know a little shuka shuka? Where you put your hand right underneath the, the jowls right there? Yep. And you just give it the little shuka shuka? So Kieran clearly moved his tiny baby shit shrine over to this n much bigger, nicer one. Look at that thing. This is the grave, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Poochie Woof Woof. But we all know that his body's not there. Yeah. Oh, and you reach out too! They actually let you reach out. Oh. I was expecting it to be all Sif sided. Right? Because you're the player character, but you show emotion whether you want to or not. Get away from the grave. But Poochie, I gotta be here. But I need you to go. No, says Poochie. God damn it, Poochie, woof woof! I just want to give you a shuka shuka! So it, it really alters the context. Like in the original cutscene, uh. Sif. Like, like, it's like, you get the fuck out, and like, grabs that sword and like, whips it around like a fucking baller. And here, Sif is just like, Damn it, oh, man. come on. You know, like... Yeah, yeah. You know the deal. Why are you doing this? I think you, I, I think, way a million years ago, back when you were like, unsold on the... Because you, you didn't see enough of Dark Souls to see that it had a decent art style. Yeah. This was the one thing that you did saw that you went, that's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've ever. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Yeah. No. Conceptually, this is, a, like, yeah. Like, you know, this is one of those things where it's like, I've had, I've seen this coming for some time now, so I've known for about years. it. For years. But. Well, it's, the mo it's one of the most popular images for the game. It's the same reason why Amaterasu is, is super cool. You know? Not much else you can say about it, besides, holy fuck. He's good. She's good at it. So when you get to about 90%, you're going to want to back it off. You can easily block anything she's got going on oh, at this point. Fuck. 
fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it's the, oh. it's the worst. Oh. It's, it's the absolute oh. fucking worst. to do that. No. They didn't have to. And it and it's in this game, it's this it's this one boss fight that's like really even before the DLC came out, it's like this is not a bad person creature monster. Right? This is a good person hero whatever doing their job, but they got to go cuz they got to go. Right? For, for, you know, questionable reasons, but uh, God damn it. Like, they didn't have to put that in the mission. Oh, boy. So there's a lot of weird stuff, and probably the number one thing is that though the design is identical to Artorias' sword, and it says that Sif inherited it, it's clearly a sword that was made for Sif. Because Artorias is not that big. It's kind of nuts, so how, like... The Sith ends up with the sword and shield. Yeah. Look at the picture on this ring, too. Like, he loved wolves, man. Bark. Look at him. He was the dog. He was... He barked like my dog. So, Artorius loved wolves. Uh, follow me on this. Artorius was so into wolf stuff that when you gain the blood of the wolf... Of the dragon of the shadow of the blood. You fight like Artorius, which is backwards. That's how in the wolves he was. Man. Is Artorius the first furry in Dark Souls? <laughs> you, you don't know if there's a suit underneath that armor? No one's gonna challenge it. We'll leave it at that. Fuck. I didn't. Man. Why are you such a dick, bro? You know, why are you such a I dick? I thought, I, uh, dude, I fully was like, when you're like, okay, now back off, and I was like, okay, here comes the big AoE. Here comes the big kill. <laughs> this is the complete opposite here of Here comes the big... Oh, he <laughs> did do the big final attack. Yeah, and there's one where... And it's on your uh, heart. <laughs> If Sif tries to do the double spin, she'll fall over. Oh, no! <laughs> God! And, and, like, struggle to get up. That fucking... Lava, lava, lava. Fire, fire, fire. Burn, burn, burn. Hot, hot, hot. It's like you're going to hell. Oh, does this get more elaborate? It does. How does a tree not it just burn the fuck up? Because it's an arch tree and its composition is actually closer to rock than wood. It's a super amazing material. Yep. Okay, we got double capras. Is this what we're doing for is this the, level? The, is this what we're doing? Is this what we're yes. Triple, quadruple? Yes. Oh, boy. They have been fully normalized into regular enemies. But their placement is so mouse dropped. So there's okay, this is probably that that little shot you had there where it was clipping through the wall and you were looking at two mouse dropped capra demons. Yeah. It becomes very, very clear in Tomb of the Giants, but particularly the Demon Ruins that they straight up ran out of time to make the game. Is this what's happening? Because it really doesn't feel like these are placed in a way that is doing anything for anybody. Yet. Like, it becomes exceedingly clear. Maybe. Maybe. Um, you're starting to see the tiniest bit of it right now. Because the difference between, like, the randoms you I fought in Ulusile was there was a caster and two guys just kind of walking around like, yeah. like ah. You know, they were placed and they were doing stuff, and these are, as you described, mouse dropped. You know what? Hey, look, it's the worst enemy design in the whole game. You know what? I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. It's just a rock. I just don't want to know. I won't ask, and you don't have to tell. It's a rock. We leave it alone. Uh, just a pro tip for you, Wolves. Yeah. Uh, these enemies literally live in a lava zone. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's not gonna do a time. Not only do they live in a lava zone, they live in a zo lava zone that is the birthplace of all pyromancy in the world. This is true. This is true. 
Well, that spear is making a fucking mockery of stuff that kicked my ass. So you're you're hiding a bonfire. Wow. Okay. Oh my fucking god. He I'm, hides a bonfire. How about that? Are you serious? <laughs> Wait, did you never kill him? No. You just walked past and ignored him? I got the item and then I left. <laughs> you ran for it and then that was that. Oh my fucking god. Well, he hides a bonfire, apparently, in case you had a hard time getting through all those capras. This game's fucking eight years old. Good job. And I just found a new bonfire. I'm glad. Oh my god, I fucking love this series. <laughs> <laughs> I love this series so fucking much! Oh my god, I'm freaking out! <laughs> I'm super upset! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of so many weapons just plink off him. Yeah, right? Yeah, and it's yeah, really, yeah, really yeah, annoying. Yeah. Fuck! A command grab. A really, really good command grab. Oh. Wow, your armor is fucking... <laughs> oh, wow. Alright. I, I like... In my, in my own head, I'm like, he physically can't eat oh. you because of your rock armor. Time to leave. We're leaving. Throw yourself off? Okay. Oh, if only. Just like your buddy, uh, Ceaseless Discharge, huh? He might throw himself off. He might throw himself off. Oh. oh. So, see, uh, fucking, what's his name? Uh, the original Taurus Demon can also throw himself off. It's what, like, if you go back and look at, like, cool ways to beat the first real boss in Darks, it's like, stand here and he can jump off. Yeah. Well, I mean, some of the most amazing ones with the, uh, uh, the Dragon Rider. Yeah. <laughs> who are just like, run up to him, stand on the left, he thrusts into the pit. Game over. Fuck me. Shabamzos. I'm the Shabamzos today. Um, you look. Do I even need to look over here? No, I don't. Ah, okay. how wonderful. Well, that's good to know then, huh? Oh, you do need to look over here. Isn't that nice to know? Isn't that nice? I'm thinking of DS2, probably. Taught you about a bonfire, taught you how to repair your equipment. Now, I'm the student. You And did. you're the master at the Dark Souls. I am the Dark Lord. Which, in any other context, is the edgelordiest cringe thing ever. But in this context, it it's, actually it's, it's, is alright. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty it makes sense. Contextually, it's pretty fucking it has good explanations. I'm the lord of the dark abyss that will swallow the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, we got that part. Kill those bugs. There was one left. No, was there? Or was that a crystal lizard? No, I think I saw one left that ran forward. Well, go back and see, make sure if something dropped anything. Okay. Kind of important. There we there go. There it is. Pick that up. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. We're getting really, really in now there. Now let's examine that. Okay. Wow. Shit's getting... I'm sorry if I'm being stern, but it's but very these important. are highly specific actions we're talking these about. very important. I understand. I, I'm going to imagine you're going to be pretty happy when you go to the fucking Tomb of the Giants. That's cool. Light okay. source. Yeah. That's great. Number two. Uh, bone out. Bone out. Yeah. Don't even walk forward. Don't walk forward. Got it. Oh, this fucking game sometimes, <laughs> man. <laughs> <sighs> Dark Souls 3s are the worst. Are you playing the video game like a normal video game? Fuck you, everyone's dead. <laughs> I should have blocked that. So I really like this guy. Um, you know what he's about. I know, I like him for a lot of reasons, but the number one is that he is casting Fire Sorcery. Ah. Not Pyromancy. That being said, for you, this is Tuesday. Especially with the fucking gear you have on that's fire resistant. Fire resistant stone shit. Yeah. And your shield is fire blocky. Well, your character is a brick. Feels like a brick. You ever hear the, the expression, you built like a brick shit house? Brick! Ow! Oh no. Wait, is that Martin Lawrence's song? That's not- Martin Lawrence is a comedian. Then why did- why, why did my brain go... Martin- oh, cause it's the theme of the Big Mama House series. Maybe, maybe that's what happens. Somewhere in there. Oh boy! It's not your fault. It's not my fault. 
I'm doing my best out here, guys. You it's... want to talk about recycled fucking enemies in this zone. <laughs> Holy shit. Look, this I one's did, on fire. I did not see that one coming. So... That sucks. I want to say... That sucks. That the first two are fine because they're in the same place and it makes sense. But that one's pushing it. Also, that one's totally pushing it. Like, that's... Yeah. I, and I was like, I still hate eight... Taurus demons clicked into into existence. Well, 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 think yeah, think of that fucking when you open up the lava and you see twelve of them uh, just that, standing that's, there. That just looks really stupid. Video game. That's baby's first. Yep. Live level editor. You know, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, here we go. All right. <sighs> then you'd be like, yeah, they have these characters that are modeled, but they're, they, let's not animate them. They are, so you can see when they die, their head tilts a little bit. Yeah, because they're stone creatures. I get that. But anyway, the the feeling of rush is certainly present. Uh, Tomb of the Giants isn't that bad. This one's the worst. Okay. Um, by far. So... That bo that boss is the is the punctuation mark. Oh, no, it's not. At the end of the sentence. Okay, so that, that boss is like the period, but the area you're about to go into is like the exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point, asterisk. Eh. Looks like nothing. <laughs> what about on the other side, Babu? Ah, a way forward. Okay. So you still got down, and you still got, uh, after this. Yeah, this is one of my big favorites. A burning elevator. That's good. Ah, we activated. Isn't that fucking awesome? We activated. Isn't that great? That's great. That's really good. And, like, you think back on it, and it's like, yeah, no, that is a really distinctive circle on the floor. You should have memorized, <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. So, this area straight up becomes a uh, fucking uh, smoldering lake in DS3. Like, 100%. You see the ruins. Like, the architecture is identical. You see the build, you see the, uh, the Kelana ends up becoming a horrible spider demon like her sisters over time. So apparently that shit's inevitable. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And you said she used to be cool. And you met her and she's fucking cool. She is. She and then it's like, you you get her tome, you're like, oh, are you serious? That's, like, in inevitable? Like, you can't even avoid that? Is that because of who they are? Or is that because of the, the, the chaos? I think those two questions are actually the same question, and the answer is yes. Okay. No good future. Mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no good future for chaos users, huh? It's no, not really. Well, because chaos user is a form of chaos magic is a form of pyromancy that uses humanity as fuel. And you, you guess what? That makes you an, a kind of de facto shitty bonfire keeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually, that's gonna be burnt out unless you get more. Oh. Wait, what? Where the fuck is? Uh, you're back at the beginning. Okay, this is the this is the fire. This is where I fought him. This is the fire sage room. Okay, so just the that was weird. Weird loop. Why they do this? Okay. Still not go forward on that little pathway over there? No, don't do that. Okay, all right. Well, hell, hell no. You want the really fun bit? Do you know why I'm so anal about it? You know what the trigger for that event is? Walking into it. The name of the area spawning. Oh, <laughs> oh that's that's what causes it. Yeah. Okay. That's a, it's a straight up event trigger. Okay. Okay. And it's like, the fucking really? That's why I started to get all freaked out when you were walking forward because I knew if you walked ten more feet, the events would happen. Exploration. Ooh, the lighting guy. Oh, it sure did. Cool. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Here we go. You notice that you have ceaseless demon fire sage, and now this in highly quick proximity, like right after one another. Which one do I stab first? All of them. Let's go with that one. Maybe that one. I like this one. I like this design. Yeah. Lots of things happening here. <laughs> oh, and you've got legs, too. Yeah, it's, you don't see it. And it's just, it's a straight-up centipede demon. And by the way, your boss fight area is limited to the places you can stand. I can see that much. So, while this boss is really cool, as you can probably tell, it's also kind of awful. <laughs> it's rough. Because you have no room to fight him, and 
It's the worst version of just stab his legs a bunch that's ever existed. Which is a shame because he has a bunch of mechanics that no one ever, ever sees. You can cut parts of the centipede off and they'll become their own monsters and regrow. Wow, okay. But, I mean, who's gonna see that? Look, look how you're doing it. Like, you're doing it as good to perfect as you possibly could. Right? And you defeated him. Good job. But you don't get to see any of that uh, shit. Yeah, fuck it. Well, and the camera's also awful. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So it's an orange ring enchanted by a witch who reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But the fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. <laughs> so that's talking about Ceaseless. Okay. So he's the brother of this the witches. Is where you get that from. And the reason why he's so fucked is because he dropped his goddamn ring. And that's why his his de physical deformities look just like the centipede demon. Well, the way they all get fucked over time anyway. Oh, absolutely. But like, yeah. But it's implied that he was the shittiest and the weakest. He's not even mentioned in the intro. And he's just sitting in lava. Yeah. Okay. That little you see that you see that little line right there on the uh, on the where it says Willington. You see it? I do. Fuck. It's a resolution bug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I said, oh, you're going to be blown away. And I'm not sure what you were expecting, but I'm certain you weren't expecting that. I thought it was going to be poison resistance. Oh, you was like in the, the item, it would be called lava as a stat that yeah, comes up. Yeah, you know what I mean? I thought it was going to be like just a little bit, like not completely and utterly negated. Yeah, it's free lava state. The lava's free! Just come and stand in it! We got the ring for you! No one else can stand in it! I'm not standing in it! Hell no, I'll die, but you're the chosen undead! You can stand in this, it's free lava! It's free to you! Just come get it! Just come get it, chosen undead! Which you, you're gonna find a bonfire pretty soon. Okay, I'll just... You sure? Yes. Hmm... Hmm... I don't know, maybe... I, I do, uh, you know, I, 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 I think I remember, but I'm not sure. <laughs> If we just stood here for a second, Maybe, if it, I, I don't think know. If I, I don't. I mean, no, I think I'm no, gonna go I don't. Forward. Yeah, you can ah, go what? Ah, no. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yeah, all right, forward. all okay. right. <laughs> it's it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> and I like how they I, I like how they use like the gameplay mechanic of you being trivial. Like that's why Ceaseless is so fucked up. Yeah, he doesn't have that. After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh no, 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 no. What are you looking for, man? Come with me. Don't lose it. Use it. Why? Don't. Aw, do oh, don't lose it. Use it. Keep it together, bro. Use it. Also, how did he get here? Well, I, I, that doesn't <laughs> that, that doesn't surprise me. I, I've completely but given up on this that, one. Uh, is even tougher to believe. I don't even think about that part. He's so awesome. Yeah, I, I don't. That that's not even a shock. I want He's shock. The best. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm perturbed. He's searching for his son, man. And he's having trouble finding I'm it. I'm perturbed by his, 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 um, mm, uh, mental state. Yeah, because that's so bad in this world. <laughs> yeah, it's the when people worst. start, when people start, to go, uh, I don't know what. The uh, first, like, imagine if the first hint of frustration your friend ever showed was the first sign of him becoming a zombie. Yeah. Everyone would be like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. this new album sucks. Oh. <laughs> well, hold on, man. Hey, calm down. What do you, what do you, what do you, let's go get her, let's go to go drink. I mean, you're in a place that's really bright, buddy. Just hold on, okay? Good thing you didn't fuck his quest up. Good thing. Yep. It's extremely easy to do. Like, say, walking 10 feet. <laughs> <forward>. <laughs> so, so, yeah, yeah, that's what I assume. <laughs> That's the, like, the only thing that would make you have such alarm at this point would be something. I wouldn't even call it alarm, I'd call it, like, sternness, where I'm like, no, no jokes now, shut up, don't, stop. You made it to Lost Isolith. The worst part of the whole game is this room. What am I looking You're at? looking at the dragon butts that you fought earlier. Barf dragons? No, remember in the, in what, in fucking the air painted world, you fought a dragon butt? Yeah. Yeah. That was all weird. There are like 40 of them just stacked in this zone. 
Well, I learned a lesson about the Moonlight Butterfly. What's that? Don't fuck with it? Don't fuck with it. Unless it fuck with you. Also, the lava effect is like eye searing. Yeah, it's making me uh, squint just It's not bit. good to look at. Let's see how we deal with one. Yeah, there's a bonfire you just sat at, right? Also, that's their attack. Anything interesting out of you? Nope. Well, that's the end of that. They have been placed everywhere in this room, and they used to have an aggro range that meant that by doing this, you would cause almost all of them to attack you simultaneously. The only way around it was that they die permanently, and that stomp attack hurts all of them. Ah. That being said, you talk. You want to talk about mouse placed? Literally, like two dozen fucking dragon assholes, just sprinkled. <laughs> Yeah. It sucks. It's the worst. It's not great. Oh, there, are, there are things about DS2 that I'll shit on all day. There is nothing in DS2 as bad as this room. Yeah, I don't think there's any part I'll shit on DS2 nearly as hard as I'll shit on this room. It, it's fucking not done. I, yeah, I don't... I'm not as angry as you are about it, but you I... You didn't have to go through it in its I original variant. I guess that's a part of it. I guess that's a part of it. So bad. You know. Um, no. So shitty. See if there's anything of value. Around this some bitch. Pro tip. There is. Not. Yeah, look at that. Look, that's an item. Right over there. That's two items. Yeah, but I'm sort of... I said of value. <laughs> so that's the trick, right? That's the trick that I get. I can get away with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, there's nothing of value here. I think I accidentally just wrote on my fucking face with this pen. God damn that, it. That makes me happy. I don't know about you. My skin absorbs ink really well, too, so it's gonna be real bad. Well, you're basically a walking canvas. Yeah. With red highlights. Pink highlights. Like, it's like, you know, you take gouache and you kind of use it on, as your base? In this case? I don't know what the fuck you're saying okay. Okay, right now. Gouache? Alright, well, anyway. Gouache? It's like, like, Is someone, that a fruit? Someone took ginger and just uh, put it down as a base coat on their canvas. I don't want to be a base coat. Where are you taking me? And at least no dragon butts can come back here. Hell no. They don't want to be back here. No one wants to. No one be wants to be back here. I wish there's an NPC that would be hanging out back here. That'd be fun. Divine Blessing and Divine... Oh, wow! Worth it. Awesome! What if it was... What, what if it was what? What if it was... What if it was what? Man walking around with completely maxed out gear Silver. and nearly at the level cap. Silver. What if it was fucking what? What if it was a Silver Knight Spear plus six? Oh, dude, that'd be dope. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist. There's tons of them. They're all around you. No. And their attack is so boring. Look, there's just ten of them. The worst. All in a row. Just standing around. <laughs> like, uh, if it, it, it was a massive improvement to Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 to have enemies move. Oh, Jesus. That thing is super, super gross. Yeah, he's coming through, isn't he? Alright, well. That is one of the most fucking, like, out there designs in the whole game. Oh yeah, that's super, that's disgusting. super weird alien shit. And he's, he's got the like like top just to eat your shield. He's got that going on. Isleth, oh what you do? Oh you turn your entire world into hell. Okay, yeah, you gotta go too. Mm -hmm. What about uh hey, Nito? But the magic was strong. Nito, what's up? Oh, you you're melted everybody. You're kinda just you're kinda just chilling in the coffin all day. He's a skeleton. What's he gonna want? What does he want? What is he up to? What's he has a, does he have nothing to say, nothing to do? He's just, no. He just he's boning. Just sit, he's just sitting around. Just boning around. Being real fucking neato. Yeah. Is neato Dr. Gast? Find next out on our video. No. Game Are my video. balls up against this camera, or is it just turned off? That's just a theory. Actually, for me, for me, that wouldn't work. 
Because no matter how hard I put my balls up on a camera, my skin's thin enough that you'd be able to actually just see through it. Oh, no. You'd be oh, able to no. see into my scrotum. Your balls are like, um, like those egg- Oh, what's behind? Ah. Oh. I tried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Oh, no, seriously, what is behind you? So what's behind you is more valuable than this, okay. right? For 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 us right okay. now. <laughs> I still don't think I'm ever gonna be strong enough to not get bodied. Oh, they're fucking tough, and I mean like past him. So like, also he's way tougher than every other Titan Knight demon in the game. I believe it because he's from Isolith. I believe it. Wow, really? Running Woody? I, he caught me last time I sprinted. For sure, man. Oh, wow. Okay. He's, I, Titanite demons are not to be fucked with. They're gonna grow up to be little chaos vomiters. They, they're, 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 they look like the same type. <gasps> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Dude, hang in there, man. Come on. Aw, oh, he's losing it. There's nothing we can do. You wanna know what happens? If, if I just ran in here? If you ran in here without yep. opening up the shortcut? Yep. He finds the sunlight maggot instead, puts it on, and says the following. Uh, Arg, finally, I have found it. I have my very own sun. I am the sun. I've done it. I have. Yes, I did it. I did. Oh, oh, ha. And then he attacks you, and you have to kill him. <sighs> because of a glowing fucking helmet. He finds the sunlight maggot, and he goes, "Look, I'm. Sun. He's emitting. He's physically I'm emitting light. I'm, 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 I'm the sun. He's. I. If I could only. Be and it sun. causes him to hollow out gloriously incandescent. <sighs> so now you know the fucking Solaire steps and how absurd it is. You have to protect him from his own stupidity. You have to. You have to cause him to oh. fail his quest. How? This is a nice shortcut. It sure is. You can see why I also, uh, mm -hmm. pointed you, uh, elsewhere. Oh, Solaire. Oh, you fucking putz. Damn. You're a good guy, but you're too good for your own good. I had to fuck with your quest. It's the only way to protect you. You didn't even know what you were fucking So all of the side quests, the good endings, are you have to fail things for people. You have to make sure that they don't achieve their goal. And he sounds <laughs> horribly ragged and wrecked. Or uh, he's not there yet, but he sounds fucking terrible now, but that's the best off yep. solution, huh? That's the best he'll get. You goddamn idiot. I love you. Fucking hang on! <laughs> hang on! <laughs> Hold the fucking phone, everybody! Just wait! A lot going on in here. Jesus! You're sleeping! <laughs> the fuck? I really have run up quite a debt to you. Yeah, a little bit. The time has come. <sighs> I owe you much of all this. By the honor of the knights of Katarina. I don't know. Allow me to assist you. And now I go. Well, he's gonna do it. Oh, fuck. Help him. <laughs> Help him as fast as you possibly can. Shit! 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 Okay. 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 I didn't want to kill him. I'm really strong. <laughs> like, you talk to him, and he just fucking goes. Leroy fucking Jenkins in the flesh, huh? Done for now? No, maybe not. Fuck you. You having fun with this concept? Not a ton of it. What? I aggroed him? Too bad. That sucks. I aggroed him? Yep. Why? Because I hit him. Yep, you hit him too many times. Ah! Damn it, I didn't think he was going to come up behind me. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. If I don't kill him, 
I don't. I can get pardoned. That's true. That is true. Time to bone Itis out. Shit. So, so I'll be honest, Walls. I don't know what the fuck the state of the quest is right now. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I don't know what sequence of events you just caused to happen. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So you're gonna want what you're gonna do is you're gonna repair your shit, yeah. and we're gonna go pardon that shit. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna come back and, and see what the fuck happened. I left him in the muck. Yep. So that might be no good. Who the fuck knows? He's not gonna hate me anymore. He yes! Hey! Okay. Alright. Good. Just, just talk to him. You saved me once again. Dear me, what can I say? I have failed you. <laughs> My dear little... So you want to hear the fun-ass conditions required to continue this storyline? What? Okay. To actually do this quest properly, and do it, like, on point, is to talk, is to do this, talk to Sieglin and say you've seen him. She'll disappear. Right? Save him from Blight Town. Say you've seen him and she'll disappear. Come down here. He then has to finish this encounter with more than 50% of his health. More than 50% of his health. Despite the poison and the fact that he jumps in. So, the only way to do it that I've ever found is you have to take a bow and arrow and hit- Kill them. And no, because if you kill all of them, He's disappointed that he can't help you, and the quest ends. Christ. You have to bring them down to about one hit from death. And let him do it. And then jump in and kill them as fast as you possibly fucking just, can. Just baby him, and, and, and squaddle swaddle him, and then clean up the little burp under, under his chin. At that point, you talk to Sieglind again, and she says that her dad's gone for one last adventure. And you find her crying at his grave in Ashley. And she will give you a slap. Dark Souls 3 Sieg, like, he kind of got it. Like, you were pointing out the fact that he tells you, you jump too far, too Why? fast. Why'd you do that? He slows you down, huh? Ah, you dummy. You and fucking Solaire. You, you children. Also kills does the same thing. They all, they're all like that. Everybody's <laughs> trying to do it. But no one's really good enough. The crestfallen warrior, upon seeing that the task is completable, yeah. hollows out. No. They all do it. Once you get stronger than them, you have to then watch out for them. And make them fail on purpose. But feel like they're, they're, they're still on their quest. Ugh. Worst thing you can do in Dark Souls 1 is help, is help them. That's fucked up. So if you complete all of their quests perfectly and do everything you can for That's them, fucked up. it's the worst thing that ever happened to them was meeting you. And you told me this in, when we played DS2. And DS3. And you're like, I, you didn't actually understand what that meant, because of course not. Why? That makes no fucking sense. It's like, no. The, w the Helping them is worse for them than had they never met you at all. That is my favorite concept of the Soul series is that success sows the seeds of your failure. In DS2, my favorite character that does this is the shopkeeper, who starts to lose his mind as he yeah, makes yeah, more yeah, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, exactly. But, but, like, it's such a weird thing where it's like, you're, like, the going hollow and, and, and being undead and all these little concepts that are introduced are all things that you're semi-familiar with in, right. like, terms of zombies and, and, you know, like, fiction. But it's tied to your mental state. Yeah, but the idea of being, like, satisfied is also bad? <laughs> what? But then if you push past that with a core thing of, like, well, I can deal with this as long as I can have my quest, or I can go on adventures, or I can be an honorable man, or I can, I can learn everything, right? Well, that, if that's what you use to push through that existentialist crisis, fine. But then all of a sudden, that that crutch is gone. Yeah. You learned everything there is to learn. There's nothing. There's no more adventures to be had. And and the fucked up thing is that we all sit here 
going through our nihilist, like, you know, jargon constantly because there really is no meaning. I love it. The but, entropy of the universe is infinite. But the fact that, like, we have no meaning to our day-to-day... -day, Doesn't turn us into zombies. You no! Know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You manage to just, you go, well, I guess there's nothing. I'll, I'll fall in that no, pit again. No, no. You kind of just fucking realize it, and then you go, all right, well, yeah. We just continue on, then. I'll eat food. And I'll, I'll, I'll... Maybe I'll be bummed out sometimes and have a sense of ennui. And eventually I might feel like procreating. And that'll be the end of my existence. And that'll be that. Well, you don't turn into an active threat to everyone around you and represent the downfall of all of society. You know, motivation is, is, is a nice... I can't believe you didn't fall off that. That's crazy. Spice. But it's not the lifeblood that keeps you going. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. Who are you? Why would you let them cast? <laughs> okay. He got me. She. I don't know. She. Another one of the actively alive sisters. I wanted to see what I wanted to see what she would do. <laughs> but you're right. I should have just. Stopped. And we'll be back in a second. Hey, you got her catalyst. Yeah, I just, I, you know what I mean. Like I'm like, okay, cutie, what do you got? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, Boom. power case. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Do me a favor and stab that wall over there. Yeah. Because if there's a bonfire in there, I'm gonna shit my ass. Not here, please. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how bullshit bullshit can get. Praise that sun. Da, da, da. Oh yeah, let's go. SSX tricky. Ah, uh, it's tricky. What? It's tricky. Uh. All right. So that's where all the roots came from. Okay. That's the bed of chaos. You're alive. Glowing orbs. You have my attention. So you can see, hitting the bed actually does nothing. Okay. But hitting the bullshit. Okay. I saw another one on the other side. You sure did. Oh, you're like a tree Cthulhu. Yeah. I like that. Uh... Is that helping, or...? <laughs> I don't know what this... Okay, well... Nope, 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 that didn't help. That didn't help. So the deal with the Bed of Chaos is that the Witch of Isolith... Oh! Oh, uh, enjoy your fight, by the way. Oh. Uh, the, the Witch of Isolith is the Chaos Flame. That's massive! It's been a long time since I've done this. And he slides you into the bullshit. Like, just literally pushes you into pits. Yeah. Just little nudges. Like oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's not about the attacks. Hell no, it's not. But the damage made. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> all caps montage. <laughs> I have all caps montage written, and underneath it goes "life will change instrumental." <laughs> what the fucking ice music over this? Okay. You gotta get around that. Oh boy. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Hey! Two thirds done. Two thirds done. <laughs> Maybe no need for the giant montage note that I have. <laughs> now, the fact that they let it stay damaged between deaths tells me that that was their playtesting. Yeah, they were like, okay, well, this is possible. If you get it once, you get it good. Now, figure out how to kill the boss. And anytime you want some hints, I'll gladly give you one. Hold on, I think I have something. Oh man, okay. <laughs> out of this zone. Lock this. And then the slam comes down. Alright. I, I see it, I see it. I you see, see it? it? I see it, I see it. I, yeah, it's... Yo, Woolington, hit that ramp! Oh, fitty. I think it's a, it's a straight fucking jump. It's a straight jump. It's a straight jump. Depends on how fast I can run. Depends how fast you can fucking run! And do you get the jump? Do you get the jump? Do you get the jump? Oh! <laughs> oh! No, 
you're good. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, shit. Try and get that jump. Oh, no. This boss fight sucks. <laughs> this is... This, this is fucking... <laughs> this is clown Hey, you want to see something funny? This is clown it was, shoes. No, no, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, uh, okay. What? So from that staircase, if you look over the edge, you can see into the void where they didn't finish building the level. Awesome. Shut up, asshole. When, when, why? Run! <laughs> you idiot! Just keep doing it, go! We're going. Heal up! Heal more! Congrats, you beat the Beta Chaos. No, ignore it. Now it's a speed run. Demon Souls? This reminds me of Demon Souls right here. You want to hand it? Yeah, maybe. That's the Witch of Iceland. Turn. She's a, a giant version of the bug. Clown shoes. She's a tiny little bug. And kazoo music. Okay. It is funnier than it is stupid. Would you agree that's like the worst? The like hands down. Uh, the it's the dumbest. Yeah. The worst I'm still gonna give to Pinwheel. Because it's not a boss fight. Pinwheel's fun. It's not a oh boss God, fight. Come on. But you see that demeanor is what I have with this. Yeah. I have well, like well, look at this stupid shit. I'll tell you what. If you would see, Pinwheel will stop no one in their tracks, right? Better Chaos, given a bad day, absolutely can. <laughs> this is right. This is I spent, fucking I spent, ridiculous. I spent a whole Sunday on Better Chaos because I just didn't get that. I, you got pretty yeah. lucky. You did it in four, right? Yeah, and, and, I, and, uh, I, and I understood. I think I understood it. I understood. But it's it's the point. It's but it's it's and it's a moment that didn't happen to you. It almost did just now, but it didn't. Where you where get, you you're midair <laughs> and the boss just swats you into the you pit. Get, you get fucking. Uh, you get dunked. Yeah, man. That's the moment that just ingrains it in your heart. Just, ah, you bitch. Like, Jesus Christ! Will they put your fucking pants back on? Oh God, that's true. That's true, I almost forgot. Let's get naked! I'll keep the chest part on, though. Yep. Oh, really? You missed something down here? Uh, yeah, apparently so. Let's see. No. Get the fuck out! No. You're telling me there's a fucking... Not necessarily, but... I literally see a chest right there. I didn't find this. And it's gonna be... Oh, slab. wow. There was a slab there the There's whole time. There's a slab time. sitting right there the whole time. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. <laughs> oh, you're pissy, huh? Perfect. I'm leaving Fluffy Tail alone, by the way. Oh, okay. All right, time to slap on your fucking yeah. new helmet, bro. My own son. That, see how much easier this is going to make this fucking zone? That's crazy. It's crazy how much better it is. <laughs> oh, wow, you're really fucking strong. Yeah, yeah. You're really, really physically strong. Yeah. I've got Havilland Fap right now, but I could probably do more damage with Leo. And oh, absolutely. Leo and I, I would go for Leo. Do you keep saying Fap? Yeah. Isn't it favor and pro Oh. Havilland Fap. What's your question? My question answered itself during the... the the period of my question. There you go. Isn't that nice? It's, it's great. Yeah, so this place is a fucking mess without the sunlight mech. <laughs> Ooh. And you'd have to otherwise use your other, your shield hand. Yeah. Man. Um, Dark Souls 2. Can you pull these guys by shooting arrows at them? Oh, totally. Cool. A mechanic that unfortunately got kind of underutilized. Except in Shadow of the, the Scholar of the First Sin, apparently they bring back that mechanic. Oh, that's good. In the areas that it was supposed to be in. I love the idea of it, certainly. Yeah. So, uh, step one for you, especially considering our teleport and bonfire shenanigans, is to find that fucking bonfire. I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's a huge arrow. It sure is. Almost as if it was a giant arrow. Dude, I'm really strong, and, I, and I'm enjoying my, my downhill jog. Oh, yeah, no, you, absolutely. Game. Because I think I've... Talking to a friend of mine, he's like, wait, you guys are almost done, but the last video I watched, you guys had just beaten the DLC. I'm like, yeah, no, we're kind of blitzing through this shit. I feel like I've earned it. Oh, that was weird. That didn't look good like it was supposed to happen. Sure didn't. There! Isn't that like... Glad I didn't drop in that hole. Isn't that just like, hey, fuck you, it's right here. It's right here. Let me just make sure it's safe. It's super safe. Yes. Good find. Good find. Good, good, good. You know what? You're gonna want to kindle this fucking shit. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no party like a kindle party. Oh. Hey, we're burning our humanity for more hell. Humanity is this club. The, is this the new thing you kids are into? We're gonna show you how. Until we turn into Manus. And then it gets real, real bad. Or cool, depending. It, what's your stance on tentacles? I, you know what? That's that like the whole Wesker thing, man. I'm not a, I'm not into it. I'm like, power yourself up to the point where you still look human. Yep. And then the moment you have to stop looking human, the, okay, bad deal. What is? Well, what are you getting wings out of it? Yeah. Okay, maybe. But are they big Sasuke dumb hand wings? Because no, don't so, do it. So my favorite, Matt and I have talked about this a lot. So, did you beat RE5, right? Yeah. You know the Steve Buscemi-looking motherfucker, the yeah. weapons dealer? Yeah. So, he's like, I'm gonna fight you, haha, with my ultimate power. Tarantino. And he, and he takes the fucking, like, uh, fucking virus juice and turns into what is essentially a fucking mutant whale. Yeah. I wish I could see the... And, the and all... Oh, by the way, there's Lost Eyes. Oh. There's <laughs> Demon Ruins. Cool. And all I can think of during that whole sequence is, what was your fucking plan after you killed Chris and Sheva? Just to exist as a big whale creature? Yeah. Yeah. I get that it's your last resort. You didn't, it didn't make it sound like it was your last resort. You sounded really giddy to turn into your full form. But then what, sir? Oh, what? Do you take, do, does it eventually like... You gonna fuck all the whale bitches? Does it dissipate and you go back to normal? It didn't, I don't know. I didn't get I that impression. Don't, I very much don't get that impression. <gasps> hey, bro. Good day. You look reasonably sane. I did get to meet him. Are you a cleric or something? No. You are not a cleric. What if you are? He will attack you immediately. Which, what if I want that? It. Okay, what if you want that? Do I want him to kick me into a hole? No, no, I mean attack you. He will aggro you and try and kill you, and you will never be able to unaggro him. Oh, uh, okay. He ha it's the same thing in Demon Souls. He attacks clerics for some reason. This is the weirdest. Like, this is so uh, fucking. You, but you said there was he was in this game before this too. That I missed him. Yeah, he was in the he was in the catacombs and he would flip the fucking bridges on you. And then why would you trust him here? Because he's because we're but friends now. But would you run into him there and then? Because he he apologizes to you and he says, "Oh, sorry, I didn't realize." What's your problem? Take a peep in the hole. Where's the and issue, mate? Why don't you treasure. take a look at that blue at that blue prism stone? You fuck. Ugh. I guess I gotta see. I guess I gotta do it for gameplay. But, oh yeah, you do. You know, let's just go see what was over this way. It is. It is the weirdest. So this is this is a there's a lot of guys in here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, this is a fuck room. So the uh, only thing of value is an item over there. To your left. Oh, wow, can you get it? Oh. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. It's the Lord Divine Ember. Oh, no! There's another item over there. Yeah, but the Ember is what, okay. what you come in for. It's okay, right. so there's the item right there. <laughs> That's not the right way. Is, is it worth it? No. No. What's your problem? Come on, man. Just take, it's, oh, do, oh, man. There's some good treasure. Look at that. Look at that good treasure down there. there. Is some, there's some treasure. Although that room, whatever you kick me in, is not going to be as bad as the fuck room I just came from. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> This is what I do, my friend. <laughs> the trick 
Kids Army stripping off your corpse? That's the real treasure. <laughs> what if that's the best line though that's the that's actually the best line he's had this is what i fucking do this is what i do this is what i do my friend yeah after missing uh, oh yeah that's another loose end um the last one it's dusk you're no hollow nope. are you uh Rhea. nothing at all to be done did patches kick them all <laughs> i it seems so <laughs> Did he just rush and kick, kick, kick? Well, they're all clerics, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. He wouldn't have even stood for it. But how did he fucking lose the three-on-one? I don't know. Patches, you fuck. Surely so this, this, is, this is just like Demon Souls, where he kicks you in, you have to fight a guy down there. Surely this isn't the only trap, though. Look at these guys' hair cut out. That's a good swing. You were saying. I'm certain that both Vincent All right. Well, you're done now. Oh, let me guess. She goes back to Farley. She does. And then Pat and then haircut is haircut. Then haircut's haircut all day. You are just inefficient. On no, you're all not. fronts. You're See, there's a weird thing where it's like the the, the combination of your armor and health are causing things to do, like, one-third of their normal damage to yeah, you. Yeah, I get that. And, but I, 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 and, and it means that, like, that flail is supposed to be scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just referring to their, like, design. Like, the, the, the skeleton engineering is a far cry. Oh, yeah, cry. no, we just, we just jammed a bunch of them together. It's a far cry from the German engineering. Look, they're doing it. He's doing the fucking hula hoop uh, dance. He's doing... He's whining. Shake your body on one. I do like how the unwind. havoc fucking physics causes them to explode As they when should. they hit the ground. As they should. Hey, before you talk to Patch, can you take a break? I'm gonna piss my fucking pants. Alright, sh should I just go sit? Yeah, I'll go sit. You know, the bladder is a pretty amazing t um, part of your body because it's like one of those leather sacks. It just inflates up like those desert sacks. Help. Oh, you falling over on your mic now? <laughs> okay. I'm an adult. Now let's finish playing this video game for money. Legally, yes. <laughs> Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Of course! We? Yes! Best oh, pals. A second chance. A third chance, technically. Wonderful. So here's- here is the exact spot of the infamous nope gif. <laughs> and if you back up just a little bit, right, you can recreate it. <laughs> is it one of these? It's it's yeah. as you go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that is fucking terrifying. To be fair. Oh, hello. Wait, wait. Oh. Why would you be here? Well, they're all over the place. Wow, that was. Are, Are you just clean winning? How long this has been? What a f- Oh my fucking god! I already you had one, I already I had know! One. You got it again? Yeah, well, you know. What is this shit?! What if I need two? Of course, because fuck you, this is a winding path- Oh my god! Pat- Fuck you, Pat. Whoa! Fuck you. I didn't think it would do that much damage. Fuck you. It's the way of things at the office. I was still on two hands. Yeah, you were. Yeah. And you were doing fine. See, turns out I was right after all. It almost killed me until I switched. Turns out I may have been right after all. You're the real Patches. Turns out there's a realistic possibility that I could have been right in an alternate timeline after all. You are the real Patches. Well, yeah. My name's Pat. Fuck. I fucking trolled you all the whole time. It was me all along. Uh, today's the day where Pat feels very stupid. Discoveries. Yay. 
I found it. Oh my god, I literally thought this bonfire was the other bonfire as well. Oh. Like, well, my, my memory combined them both into one place. Well, you know what you did? What? I wasted some humanity. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Wow, you're right. You are much better with that shield than Pokey. It engenders passivity. And I'm You wanna try that again? <laughs> I'm the engenderment of passivity. Yes, I suppose you are. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I was real worried about two of the giants. No offense, Wolves, but your playstyle can be slow at times. Uh -huh. However, no, there no, were no, two there were two taken. there were two possibilities here. Either the zone that's designed to be gone through slowly will cause you to slow to a crawl. Or, the zone that is designed to go through slowly will just pretty much sync up with your regular pace and you'll just go through it more quickly than the other person. I've got a really good helmet and also divine weapon. But these guys don't come back, don't they? Anyway. No, they don't, but they still do, I think, take extra from divine. Because they are skeletons. Oh, geez. See, Matt takes extra bless damage. <laughs> That's where this is? Yeah. Between Ash Lake and the demon runes, huh? Yeah. There's an item over there. There's you're a going, over you're here. going real deep, dank into the skeleton zone. All right, bone zone, if you would. The bone zone. Uh, funnel created. You did it. Time extended. I don't know if that counts as a funnel because this this item was very easy for you to find. No, I know. I mean, it's just I like the idea of running past the checkpoint in, in dark soils and dark soils. Dark soils. I like. I like. That's the my idea. new farming simulator. I like the idea of running past the checkpoint Some in dark soils, and it goes. Checkpoint! Some rich dark soils down by the farm in Ann Orlando. Okay, you know what? It's time for us to make that goddamn Stardust Stardew Valley um fucking spin-off we've been talking about for Harvest Moon spin-off. Yeah. And we call it Dark Soils. Dark Soils. That's fucked. Yeah, don't look at that. <laughs> don't, don't look at don't look at that. The Z fighting souls. Z fighting. So there's clipping, and I, I've I've ranted and raved about clipping, but Z fighting is almost as bad. It's it's actually worse than anything else, in my opinion. Oh really? Z fighting's number one because it it actively looks like something is like like it's the most distracting version. A visual gay, a visual problem. You your brain just goes, yeah, that's just a, a, you know whatever. But like a Z, Z fighting flickers. It looks like something built into the world. It looks like it was you know. Um, not a graphical issue. Like, if it's your first time seeing it, you're not used to that. What the fuck is you that? You wouldn't assume it's a graphical issue. No. Oh. You give me an opportunity? Oh, wow. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. That's well. So, that's well I've, de I've described that one as the least fair kill in the entire Soul series. That's fantastic! <laughs> What a great, what a great ambush. It's just, and it's always, and every part of it, the, the, the skeleton tower descending so that you are like, oh, now's my chance to get the archer, right? Mm -hmm. And, and the fact, mm -hmm. the fact that that guy always does the kick first. Sets you up so it's bad. so fucking good. Because, yeah, when I have an enemy, I laugh. Because it's so... You actually take the opportunity to run in on him. It's <laughs> so dirty. Why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Like, that's a weird scripted moment that is not normal AI planning. <laughs> no. You know? And that's what's weird about that, is that normal AI would not behave that way at all. Right? And just know that there's a guy to the left there. And if you know the guy's to your left... And then he comes back. Yep. Oh, no. You just walk past the guy on the left, like run past him so that your back is to a wall. And now they can't kill you. He does it See, anyway. he always does that first because he's an ass. And now they're just stomping you. As they do. Now they're just stomping you. <laughs> Why you gotta be like this, skeletons? I think they're literally the same as Pinwheel. Oh, here comes the children. Oh yeah, lots and lots and lots. Don't tangle with that shit. Don't tangle with the babies. How is baby formed? Fucking straight up baby skeletons. With adult-sized heads? Yeah, it's a little weird. Don't worry too much about that. 
Don't think too much about it. Time to come real fucking neato. Oh, he's right in. You don't get a, 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 a Oh, you do get a breath. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say like right into the boss. Wow. Okay. So this is just cloth. So I love. This is totally the Whoa, exact same half room. Whoa! my fucking life on that drop. This is the same spot he ran into him before. It is. It is. Yeah. Of course, that's where he is. But now that you come in while tearing ass through all his bros, you can be weak enough to die from that fall. Oh yeah. If I, you, I might just do a percentage. Oh, maybe. Or it might be like one health point underneath the maximum. Because I'm like, what if you're doing a uh, soul level one run? Yeah. And then you get to this point. Man. <laughs> Isn't there black cloth on him too? Yeah. That's real neat. It's really covered though. All right. The only one left is the Grave Lord. So Nito's power was co-opted by those necromancers. He's the original big necromancer man. Yeah, clearly. Ads again. He's, oh, big ads. He's very good at it. Okay. Shit, no, no, no. Here it comes. That's the now. Okay, that's the noise. Got it. So you see always, that? Yeah. Unblocked? That's very strong against his ads. Okay. So it's a weird boss fight in which ads will constantly regenerate, but he will kill them. That being said, uh, who cares about that shit? <laughs> okay! Well, that's how the fight's supposed to work! Soul Lord of Grave Lord Nito. First of the dead, go ahead. This Soul Lord soul was discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Grave Lord Nito administers the death of all manner of beings. The power of this soul is so great that it satiates the Lord Vessel, <coughs> despite the fact that much, much of its energy has already been offered to death. So you notice a trend with all of these, that even though they're the Great Lord Souls, they're all gravely diminished from their original power. Well, it says he satiates the Lord Vessel. Yes. But it's like, it's saying his, his, he's so powerful that even the shitty version of his soul satiates the Lord Vessel. Right? Despite the fact that much of its energy... Because by the time you get to these guys, they're all broken down they're, they're, shit heaps. Yeah, they're all a shade, a shade of what they used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the secret to good anime. Yeah. Is you take the... You show us the, the cool guy in his, in his... Not in his heyday, but... You know, when, when he's, he's washed way, up. Way, way washed up. Yeah. Well, shit, you did it. Uh, he's a po he like in every other game. Away. He's away from everybody else. Oh, here, have you met that backwoods shiva? Yes. Believe me on this one, bruv. <laughs> man is trouble. <laughs> I can see it in his eyes. Celeb. Oh my god. Believe me on this one, bruv. He's a Dude, idiot. you're right. But he has and that's to be sad. An awfully strong idiot. You're super <laughs> right. <laughs> keep him on your side. You're super <laughs> right. That's the truth. Yeah, no, Solaire's a weirdo dumbass. That's but he the happens to be truth. super strong. Oh, your gesture. Don't you be fooled by his claims. I to love do this. Yeah, it's They're really good. All the same, those rotten clerics. Prayers don't work against <laughs> patches. <laughs> <laughs> against patches. Almost good over there. I see you. I see you hanging see out you. over here, man. Where are you hanging out? Where is he? Hey, is he's way over there. there. Hey, I see you over there. Hey. You cool guy? You're cool, Dommel. You do keep doing it. Solaris cool. He's a good one, too. As far as magic dudes. <laughs> you know? I like and, Logan a lot. And then the lady down here. Yeah, Anastasia, you're nice. You're a weirdo, but, uh, you know, I mean, keep keep it up. Keep, keep it up. Keep it up. Can you stay in that pit? You Good, good shit. Good yep. shit. All right. Bye, Lawrence. Never gonna see you again. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Offer your souls. Do it. Hey, cool. Oh, that, oh, that was awesome. <laughs> the spirit of what I once was. It's behind you. Ornstein is there. <laughs> oh, that was fucking great. That was like me a big fantasy door. That was fucking great, mate. Bruv. Yeah, Big Fantasy Doors. That He was right. He yeah, was right. he was right about Big Fantasy Doors are cool. Especially this Big Fantasy Door. It's one of my favorite ever. Alright, goodbye, Ornstein. Alright. What is that? I'm gonna take a piss. This is the coolest door. What is... Those are the knights that went with Gwyn to Link the Flame. 
And I don't know where you are right now, because that shit extends to infinity. There should be a there should be a, a zone where you can't put signs down. Yep. All right. Oh. <laughs> I've been here before. You have! In the far, far future. When there is no longer a single fucking part of this standing. But I like to think, like, look what happened to this area when he linked the flame. You can tell that all of the melting happened in one direction. Which implies that there was, like, a fire tornado that actually engulfed the entire place. And that's how far the flame has died down. Whereas it used to encompass, like, this fucking football stadium, it's now contained entirely within the kiln. I spied something. Mm-hmm. So congrats. Here's your victory lap. What a fucking pretty area, man. It's one of my favorite final areas. Ooh. And this is just ash. <laughs> yeah. Just mountains of it. Your shield has really been very helpful. Guy. It doesn't even fucking stagger you! Good trade. You're so strong! I love how, like, the place is so wrecked, there isn't even a real path to it anymore. I don't even know what I'm running on exactly. Like, the ground has been melted. Oh, you're not an archer. Just a guy. Ooh, okay. There's your summon sign. No, that's a message. That's a message. That is that's a not a message. Sign. That's a summon sign. You're right. This is your reward for completing his side quest in that manner. In that manner, you get this out of it. How are you this good? <laughs> How are you that strong? <laughs> How? Tell me! His items have no special properties Tell me. of any kind. <laughs> I hit him when I switch weapons there. He just backed off, he didn't like it. He's so tough. It makes no sense! <laughs> He might be a weirdo idiot, but he's your pal. What a what? <laughs> you just call. So I want you to think of all the really cool boss introductions that you've seen over this game. Just let it happen, man. Okay. That's correct. You don't get one. That's correct. All hail Lord Gwyn. And I don't know if you can tell, he is Defender of the Seven Realms. He is completely hollowed out. King of the Andals. Defender of the First Men. Long may he reign. Uh, You're wearing the coolest armor. And that's a cool move. Sure is. And you are a radical fucker. Oh, he's super good. Solaire and you throwing it up in a fucking fight the Lord of Sunlight Zeus God whatever so despite the fact that he's like a god of lightning he's now the Lord of Cinder uh-huh the first Lord of Cinder even and for you at this point unless oh my god Solaire it's fucking saving saving me. your ass here we go. Uh, unless you botch it up, this counts as your victory lap. And it's kind of supposed to be one. Praise the sun. I don't have it, but it's fine. Switch it. Oh, you never got I it? I never got it. Oh, well. Bye, Solaire. That's fine. Give him one of these. Usable item. There it is. You can consume it. All oh, right, because you can trade it to somebody for the, a light. Who? Who do you think? I have no idea. Andre? And Solaire. Oh. He, he teaches you the, the best lightning spell as a result. By giving him the soul of Gwyn? Yep. All right, let's read it. Soul of the Gwyn. The Gwyn. Lord of Sunlight. And Cinder, who linked the first flame. Lord Gwyn bequeathed most of his power to the gods and burnt as cinder for the first flame. But even so, Lord Gwyn's soul is a powerful thing indeed. So, 
all the people that you ran into that he gave bits of his fucking power to. All of his kids, all of this shit, right? He left nothing for himself. He burnt himself to ash, and he's still strong enough to fucking nearly fight you off. But he gave most of it away. Yeah, he gave like 90% of it away. Oh my god, the whole and time- And that's why Nameless King is so impressive to me. Because Nameless King is supposed to be him before he burnt himself into shit. The whole time, I was think looking at that like, here, have a piece. I have so much that you can have a little piece. Well, he did. Here's a little piece. But then he went to and burned most of that away at the flame. Now, uh, the the DS3 final encounter. Um, yeah. What's it called? The uh, uh, Soul of Cinder. So okay. That is everyone who has ever linked the first flame. And, and then when you get it down to like 25% health, its moveset reverts to that moveset. Because it's the first one. So, that is then him plus everyone else. Ever. All the way through time. Yep. Uh, but, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then his his plan is not as selfish as it sounds. No, because his, well, his plan, one, involves himself immolating himself into a hollowed fucking mess. The idea that he was afraid of the coming dark was one that I, I took to be... Therefore, I'm gonna back myself up into this corner and set up these stupid machin machinations no. to make it so that I can continue and, and, to exist. And that's why Vendrick is, in 2 is the actual opposite of this, where he actually literally backs himself into a corner and refuses to link the flame. Here, he didn't care about himself as much as he cared about the age. The age of the gods and all so that. So he stuff. wanted the age to keep going, that's not right. he himself. Mm -hmm. That is different from so, what I expected. And that's and why the music is sad. Because Gwen's a good guy. For the second that I heard it. Yeah. So my favorite thing about this, and it goes into Framp's trick, is that the whole game teaches you, oh, I killed the boss. I'm going to go light the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> but you might actually, you might not even think about it. No, I didn't think about it at all when I just did it. And I was and super confused. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Oh, no! You're heading into the fucking Udix Gundir dark ending. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna homeward out because I bet you there's a cutscene. Oh, of course there's a cutscene. I was gonna say. I, I thought so. I felt it. Hello. My lord, bless thy sacred earth. Let God and Frant serve your Really? Well, I mean, we are here plan failed, so meet the new boss. Not the same as the old boss. Very different, in fact. So. What's All hail Lord Tarkington. So what? So what's interesting about that is that ending is not dependent on whether or not you actually spoke to Kath. So if you decide to walk out, regardless, you regardless still get you it. get that, which can make it very confusing, <laughs> right? Especially if they drop the name out of a character. You've yeah, and you're like, wh who? who? Who are you people? So hey, you beat it. You beat Dark Souls. Did you like it? I'm gonna establish. The Kingdom of Tarkington. <laughs> but would you link the flame when it came time to do it? Not if I found out the truth, no. Yeah. Because guess what? Gwyn, being all about... Me learning what I just did about him, where he's yeah. like, No, take me too. <laughs> yeah. And keep the age going? Yeah. I'm too much of a coward for that. Oh, no. My my brain firing the synapses and, and shooting the electrons that it is yeah. to keep the illusion of sight and processing information going mm -hmm. is too important. Well, see, to that's that's why you got to trick these stupid undead, and that's why I'd never <laughs> walk into a teleporter. That's <laughs> it's, it's why I would never clone myself and and let let that take my place. I would never create a duplicate body. What what about uh, replace yourself in a different timeline? Because nope, never. Because the illusion of consciousness is too important, and I'm too much of a coward to ever. Think See, Vendr that risking it to not know Vendrick is more worth in it. DS2 
figures, listen, I'm not just sealing myself away for selfish reasons. My wife seems really suspicious. Yes, yes. And um, I'm pretty sure there's an Age of Dark coming. And I know that if I light the, bon the fire again, things will go back to normal for a while. But that won't actually solve the problem. It just delays it to... It just passes the buck to the next people. So he figures all this goofy shit with the crowns and all that. Dursal's two stuff is like, well, maybe you can beat the curse. And the answer is, not really. No. You can delay it for one person, maybe. Using, like, the most powerful artifacts in the world. And then the bearer of the curse comes along. And, and then he seeks, actually seeks gets, less. And then he actually gets to the bottom of it and finds out about the wife, yeah. Now, um... Um... Recontextualize Dark Soul 3's ending now for me, then. <laughs> How so? Uh... The well, the, the the basic deal in Dark Souls 3 is that it's... Well, because there's the... I, it's I, been going on for a while. I remember the ending you got, but I don't... The, I, the I, ending I that I got was the Dark Lord ending, in which, uh, Kath, uh, is still pushing for his bullshit. Yes. And is still like, no, man, the fucking Dark Lord and shit's gonna be dope. And... Even though they're winning at it, that point. Instead the, of... The Dark is clearly winning. Instead of walking off and just, like, letting the flame die out, it's like... I get the impression that steps were being taken to increase hollowing because you see you see Ages of Dark and Dark Three, right? You go into the past during an Age of Dark, right? In the fucking uh, you do, yeah, where you fight yeah, Gundir again, yeah. In which, like, no, these you, do these do like. trade off now and then, right? And like, it must be quite frustrating to Framped. Sorry, not Framped. Calf, calf. That eventually, like, yeah, we got this Age of Dark. It's going. Aw, oh, crap, it's somebody swing. totally linked the flame again. The pendulum Fuck. swings back the other way. So he goes, okay, well, what if you absorbed the flame into yourself and, like, negated it and turned it into human... Or whatever the fuck that process is with the marriage and all that goofy shit. With, uh, what's her name? Henry. Wouldn't that all... Wouldn't you just make it all gray? Yes. That was that was the kind conclusion. Of. A little. You make it all gray. And the, the fucking sun turns into a hollow and the world becomes hollow. Like, the earth. Yeah. Um, you stop the pendulum. There, and, and there's a bunch of weird shit happening at the end of that where, like, all of the Earth is, like, physically contorting onto itself. Now, to be fair, if you could stop entropy... Yes. ...in our, wor our world... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. It would be a really, really shitty situation that would, you, for you, life. You kind of need entropy. It would be a shitty situation for life. It's kind of life. important. Um, and the other ones... Uh, it, one is that you link the flame. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yes. And the other is that you... Um, uh, I don't know. It's it's called the e the end of fire, and it's an ending I haven't gotten yet. Yes, indeed. And now you're back here. The dark sign brands the undead, and it just kicks you right back into this. Well, uh, oh no, that's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. So, uh, I guess with all that said and done, uh, gameplay wise, yeah, it's fucking stellar. Yeah, um, so it's a pretty good game, I guess. You know. The uh, for lore, hey Plague. The moment you hear this, send me a message. Yeah, I want You want You want to dive deep? Well, I, I I would highly suggest you go check out Epic Name Bros. Uh, prepare uh, prepare to Well, you here. know, maybe no, that's maybe we grab him or grab Spy, and then we jump on a spoiler cast. Yeah. Then actually oh, the, correct the ancient spoiler cast and actually correct. Well, uh, and go through we should what probably we need to understand. We should probably beat the Dark Souls Three DLC before we do to that because there's stuff in there. Oh, I see. There's there's, stuff. there's more content. There's there's important stuff in there. Yeah. Um, and I guess, I guess... So you can see why this would become, a, like, a, a fucking, like, bullet point of the of 2011 when it came out. Like, ages ago. Well, it's more than a bullet point. Right. Like, no, but just like, oh, oh, shit. This, it, this did, in, like, it's not hyperbole to say that this changed the way that people looked at games for a while, because this reminded people about difficulty. And it reminded me people Difficulty about existed before, but it was forgotten. Yeah, and this reminded people about difficulty. It reminded people about the the, uh, the corpse run. Mm -hmm. It reminded people about <laughs> yeah. um, uh, uh, maps that are shortcut based. Yep. Instead of like just a level a based. line. Yep. yep. And uh, it reminded you, I guess, of like you know things like Fallout, where you kill an NPC that fucks over your game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
It was not the first. It was just a reminder of a and lot you, of things. And you can also see, I hope, where I, I like Demon Souls a lot, and Liam adores Demon Souls. I think it's still his favorite. But you can see why this set the world on fire, and Demon Souls did not. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, because this is this is fixing a lot of those those mistakes. This is like a fucking. I view it as like a sublimation. It's like a fucking burning away the the chaff of Demon Souls, all the all the really goofy bullshit, and having it. The connected world probably adds more to it than it probably adds less to it than I think it does, but I think that applies to everyone. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, in each case, they're you know, and, and like I think this is just like again the the more coherent version of the ideas. Like Sonic Two to Sonic One, right? Yes, Mega Man Two to Mega this Man is, One. This is Sonic Two to Sonic One. That's what you get, and I yeah. get, and I, and I get that. And no, Dark Souls Two is not Sonic at Three and <laughs> Bloodborne is. I, uh, <laughs> we can argue that one. That Wait, can be argued. You can definitely argue that. And then what's Dark Souls 3? Don't tell me it's Sonic. It could be Sonic CD or it could be Sonic 3D Blast, depending so how much you like that. It's a lock, lock on cart. And then you put. You attach your. Oh god. I don't like this. Okay, uh, well, you got huge. You killed all the gods. You fucked up the planet. Good job, Wooly. Wollington, rather. I thought I had one more thing to say. Oh no. But it might be gone. That's awkward. That's awkward. Well, okay, we go I guess out. it's go out on a low oh, note. Okay. 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 Just, okay. 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 Just the most awkward. All right. Yep. Oh, just, just, just run into a corner. Oh no. It's, <laughs> it's all going to shit. Oh no. It's all no. Going don't to take shit. that fucking ring off. It's all going to shit. Don't you take that fucking ring? No. Uh, oh. I'm, oh, they give you a warning. Okay, dude. That I. That's, they give you a warning! That's great. <laughs> that's great. No one ever- did you ever know? Did, no one did it! I never take the ring off. No one did I've it! I've never- uh, why would I take the fucking ring off? Holy shit! That's great! How nice of that's them! That's so nice! That's so nice! Thank you guys! <laughs>